Hello, hello. Hello. Do, do you notice something new? <laughs> do you notice something new? I, I switched my, my setup a little bit. Well, actually, I just switched it back to where what it used to be. <laughs> this, this is where I used to have my PC, but now I moved it back again. So, but hey, Sarah is today's first and Palm is today's second. Hope you're doing well today. <gasps> Marty? Is that a Marty? Hello. <laughs> Happy five months! Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here for five months. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well today, Marty. Hey, Volo, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, <clears throat> I have just, you know, uh, I don't know. Things have been weird. <laughs> Things have just been weird. I can't. I, I don't really know what to say. I just. Um, well, I've had migraines all week. That's one thing. Well, I stopped having migraines on on Thursday, and then yesterday I wanted to stream, but I couldn't because I I, I was cramping too much. So I didn't mean to stay away for this long, even though I did say that this week I wouldn't follow my schedule, but. We're here. We're here. So this is the first stream of the week. <laughs> this is the first stream of the week. But you know, it's uh, it's been good though. I've managed to do quite a bit of things that I've been meaning to <clears throat> and wanting to as well. And uh, yeah, I've I've talked about it for such a long time now that I wanted to um move my setup a little bit. I have wanted to do that for a while because I don't know. I don't know. I just I just like having a wall behind me. <coughs> so <clears throat> and I also uh like to not be um well when I stream during summertime it's also very bright in here. So this helps make it a little bit darker. So you know that's good. That's good. Um you missed me? I missed you guys too. But nice setup. Did you move your computer closer? No no, I used to have my PC uh up against this wall behind me. So that's that's where my, my PC used to be. So my chair was where uh my desk is now, I guess. <laughs> so wait! Robin? Robin? <laughs> what? Ten months? Ten months? You started a hype train? Thank you so much for the ten months, Robin. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Very moody. Um, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think it's a good thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I so I used to have my setup this way before. I don't really know why I changed it. I guess I just I just like changing my setup. I like I like redecorating. So sometimes I just need a change. But yeah, this is what it used to be before I moved it. Um, the way it was before this. So I've just I've just moved it back really and also it kind of helps to have this dark wall behind me as well because it it makes the lighting a little bit better i feel like i don't know but yeah it's this is the same window as i've had next to me before but on the other side <laughs> it used to be on this side of of the screen um <laughs> Uh, hey, Clever! How you doing? Looks so different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to have my PC up against this wall behind me. But, I, I know, I kind of I kind of like to not have everything showing in the background. Like, 
yes, it's cute to have like the the pillow with with m my cat sleeping on there and stuff, but you know, uh, you know. Um, but you do too. Can a lob is great. Thank you. Yeah, I, this one also used to stand exactly where it is right now. <laughs> so this one, that that one is also not new. Oh wait, you can see yourself in in the lantern here. I can wait. I can see myself pointing at myself in the lantern. I'm pointing at me pointing at me pointing at me pointing at me pointing. <laughs> Um, but you're doing good. I'm glad. I'm glad. You have things you gotta ask me and Sarah. Oh, really? I'm I'm curious now. I I'm I'm nosy. <laughs> but I'm glad you're doing good. Go go follow Clever if you haven't. And seeing as Sarah won't shout himself out, then I will do it for him. Go follow Sarah as well. Go do it. Go do it. A crypt of darkness. Mm. I mean, I never, like, I haven't painted anything here. This wall was like this from before I moved here. But I kind of like, um, I, I don't know if you can tell, but the, the gray is kind of like, it's not a cold gray. It's a warm gray. And I like that. I like that. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But yeah, I also forgot to respond to your, uh, your message that you sent me yesterday. Clever. I've, I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um. Oh, you already DM. Oh, so I, I thought there was something something else as well. So now I was like, oh. <laughs> um, you just forgot you had sent it. That's that's all good. That's all good. Hey, it's better to have sent it one too many times than one too few. You know. You know. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so what we're gonna do today, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna we're gonna be playing a new game that I, I I got the Steam key for yesterday. I got it yesterday. I kind of forgot that I had requested a key for it, but um so yeah, I got it yesterday and then I figured, you know, this week I said that I wanted to do something else as well. We, I'm, I'm still gonna be playing Elden Ring and everything. Don't worry. But I also wanted to do something else. So it worked out pretty well. It worked out pretty well. So we're gonna be playing a game called I don't know if it's Weko or Weko, uh, the Mask Gatherer, which is a, a 3D platformer, uh, which is also kind of a Souls-like, but it's it's very cute. It looks very cute. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. I'm looking forward to trying it out. A big, big butt. Is it big butt five or big butts? <laughs> Welcome in. Uh, loving the tunic plush in the background. You were one of the bug hunters on Waco. So you excited to see me play? Oh, oh, that's nice. That's cool. Well, you're welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try it out for the first time today. So I'm looking forward to it. Waco? Weko, okay. Weko. Yeah, I, I like. I'm like. Sometimes you don't know until you play the game, in case it it gets mentioned. But at the same time, you also don't know that for sure. So I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Five, but feel free to call. Me oh, I see. I see. I see. <laughs> because sometimes people use five as an S. So I was like, maybe it's just. Maybe it's just that i don't know <laughs> but i understand because five is my favorite number as well just just saying so totally understandable best number you could have chosen <laughs> but yeah so that's that's what we're gonna do today um i'm not sure if we're gonna play that the entire stream though but we'll see most likely it depends on how much i like it and but i mean I'm expecting to like it. So that's that's what we're gonna do. And um Yeah, so what what have you guys been up to lately? I haven't streamed in a whole week now. Last stream was on Saturday last week, so 
I feel like I've been gone for a long time. <laughs> Thank you for the the hydrate, Marty. Um, like secrets, calculator messages. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, you've been doing Frostpunk. To I I've seen that. How do you like it? How do you like it? Because it is it is nerve wracking. It's like the the when the 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 frost comes in and the 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 sound of the the horn or whatever. You get nervous. <laughs> you get really nervous. Um, but it's so fun, though. I, I played it when it came out. And I don't think that I played it since, like, maybe... 2017 or something? I don't know. But it is it is really fun. It's probably one of the, the mo most fun city builder type of games that I've uh, I played. Uh, comes from Club Penguin years ago, but your RuneScape username was too long and it just sort of stuck. Mm, I see, I see. <laughs> Wait, what, what was the... oh. Oh, so it's not a shortened version of your uh, username that was too long, I guess. You're not good at that game so far? Mm. Hey, I, 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 I don't know if I was either, but I was enjoying it. <laughs> you like it and you want to succeed but something always goes wrong hey it's tricky and it is nerve-wracking it really is people getting pissed at you for stuff you can't control <laughs> chris what 14 whole freaking months it's it's krauss's man I, I, I don't know. I wanted to say Dando Man, but then I was like, I have too many names for Chris. <laughs> there are too many names. Well, I mean, there's no such thing as too many. But thank you so much. Happy 14 months. I hope you're doing well. And I mean, I know we, we have kind of talked since then, but I, I'm, I hope that you were happy to come back home after your vacation. I mean, I hope you had a good vacation as well, but like... <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Um, you gotta play board games at a new venue and then flew your uh, RC planes today. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Frostpunk is so hard though. You could not stick with it for very long. I wish there was a We Love Winter Comfy mode. <clears throat> I was really uh, obsessed with the game. What? Lauren! Hello! <laughs> Lauren! 11 months! Thank you so much! Thank you so much! I hope you're doing well! I hope you guys are doing well! Thank you! It's been so long, it has. Well, I mean, I... It's only been a week since my last stream, but at the same time, it feels like it's been such a long time because I'm not used to being uh, away from stream for this long. Um, but I hope you guys are doing- but I also know that you guys have been on vacation, so you know, if that is added to it. And yeah, it's been extra long. <laughs> uh, you tried an easy mode, but then made a critical error you couldn't recover from? Oh, I see, I see. Hmm. Krauss the Bows. Mm -mm. Go follow Chris if you haven't already. Do it. Do it right now. How do? Doing do pretty good. Doing pretty good. I have changed my setup if you if you couldn't tell. Uh, <laughs> I've changed my setup, which I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Um, you're just there trying to sign up and notice the penguins had a large behind then your dyslexic 11 year old self spelled butt wrong oh <laughs> so i wasn't wrong about the butt parts i see i see <laughs> that's funny though just say all the names oh i think i would have to write it down just so i wouldn't forget anything Tusta, she's just <laughs> 
she's lying on the floor right there and she just she's just sitting there washing herself now <laughs> uh, cleverly and saruf yeah saruf saruf is on fire <laughs> The ducks have been racing your baby for a while now. Wait. The ducks have been racing your baby for a while now? Oh, oh, da baby. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait. <laughs> I, I was like, are you talking about the, the plastic duck simulator or something? Because <laughs> I couldn't figure out what you meant. <laughs> but I'm just slow. Okay, I'm slow. I know what you meant now. You finished fourth wing in Iron Flame? <gasps> you did? Wait, you're so much faster than I am. I still like I I have Iron Flame right here because this this, this is how far I've gotten in it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not even halfway through the book. I, I I read like a few pages every day. I'm such a slow reader. You have no idea. But how are you liking it though? Or how did you how did you like them? I'm glad I'm glad that you also got to read them. You run away. Then you just gotta follow harder. <laughs> just follow him harder, yeah, so we can't run away. <laughs> follow Kraus is that he will try the final boss of the Elden Ring DLC. He will first try. Mm. I believe that. Setup is looking fire. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I wish you could see the top of, of my, 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 my shelf because I have a lot of stuff on top of it. <laughs> But it's just not everything can fit in in in, in the frame. Um, you only just realized that's a small fox on your mic. It's not not a large fox on a black stamp. <laughs> no, no, it's just a teeny tiny one. It's Fo. It's 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 his name is Fo. <laughs> uh, we love foxes around here. It's true. It's true. Our baby, we didn't want it. To, you didn't want it, so you gave it to the ducks. Mm. Understandable. I I would do the same thing. <laughs> uh, you were on holiday for two weeks. I know, I know. I just I I guess it's just because I I haven't really been on Twitch much either, so I just assumed that it was only me. Uh, but then I was like, no, wait, that's actually not true. I I, I know that you guys have also been on vacation. <laughs> Just started Iron Flame and then switched to another book. Oh, wait. So you didn't finish it? I have I have an hair on on my nose. Quite literally with that candle stand. Yeah. Luckily, it's they're just um. Yeah, it's not it's not real candles. They're they're not real. They're reels, by the way. They're not real. <laughs> Have a top shelf, uh, top of shelf cam. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I could. I have all the plushies. Well, not all of the plushies, but I have, I have some plushies up there and the uh, vinyl for Baldur's Gate three and uh, and you can see the bottom part of it. But this is my Claymore collection, manga collection, and. Um, it's a big box. It's a big box. You have enjoyed them. You're dying for the next book. You can you can talk more about when finished Iron Flames. So you don't want to spoil anything. Gone book crazy now. You read eight books in four weeks. That's insane. I wish that I could read that fast. I just I need to reach a certain point where I just can't put the book down. But I haven't gotten to that point in this book. But I got to that point in the first one. Um. But yeah, I am also really enjoying it. I just, I just haven't gone to the same point yet where I just can't stop, you know. But yeah, I also have a book uh, channel in the Discord. I, I made it just because Panda wanted one, but most people don't seem to use it. But it's there if people want to talk about books as well. Um. Based wordplay enjoyer. Mm. It is really, really nice being in a place where the temperature starts with a one and not a three. 
right? Here it is actually 19 degrees right now. So it's starting with one here as well. <laughs> uh, that would be an amazing dedication to your setup to burn candles each stream. I actually did do that for a while. Um, I did do that for a while. It, it took me a long time before I switched. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> hello again. Hello again. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Wait. Are you someone who has changed their username? Because I don't recognize you. I don't recognize your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> but welcome in. Welcome in. Um, you're in a slump after Iron Flame. You've been reading some more lighthearted books to help. Oh, I see. Mm. Well, you could read Mongus. That is very light. Uh, well, maybe not lighthearted, but lighter in a sense <laughs> that would be kind of cool streamer wait that would be a kind of cool streamer nice you light a big candle on stream until the candle goes out mm. yeah i mean that's these are have a timer on them so they will light for i think eight hours So if they go out, I know that I've been I like this is this is probably the time to end. <laughs> Not much to see in Croatia then. Hey. Dadman is Croatia, you know. It depends on the book. Iron Flame and Fourth Wing are big books. The other ones have been smaller. Mm. That's fair. That is fair. It was too hot to move. Oh, I hate when that happens. I've actually been feeling really bad because I bought a, a, a parasol for my uh, my veranda uh, a couple of weeks ago or something. Two or three weeks ago. I've only used it once. I've only been sitting there once since then because it's been raining so much. And on the days where it's been nice weather, I've either been, well, not feeling good or I've gotten up too late. Or I just have had too much to do to be able to sit outside. And I feel kind of bad about it. <laughs> uh, it's the same, but you change it to... Wait. It's the same, but you change it? What, what, do, you, what do you mean by that? <laughs> hey. <Tur> <laughs> you got third. Yeah, so this is Tusta, my cat, which you saw earlier. She tends to show up. She has a piece of lint on her butt. Just, just saying. Uh, stream until the lights go out. Let's go. I mean, it could maybe. Did I just insult Diamond Saying no, that's not what I said. You want to read a Court of Thorns and Roses series, but you need to prep yourself before jumping into that. I have the whole bo uh, box set. Um, I have it on the on my dining table. Um, if I had my older uh, old setup, I could have just pointed at it behind me, but I can't. Um, <laughs> just trust me, it's there. <laughs> Can hardly no, don't say that. You're so cat broody. You want a kitty? But I thought you prefer dogs. But yeah, you should get a cat, guys. You you and Chris, you should get a cat. Trust me, it's it's I mean, I've never had a dog, but it's much less of a commitment in a way. Like obviously you have the same commitment, but it's like you have less you need to do, you know? So it's 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 not as high maintenance as having a dog, you know? You had a nice villa, cat on holiday that like belly rubs and you miss her all. Yeah, you guys should get a cat. You should. Butt lint, Washington Masters. <laughs> she, she lit, no, that wasn't her butt. She, but she was washing herself on stream. You saw it earlier. Uh, for what it's worth, it took you about eight hours to beat Waco the first time when testing, but 
that was with stopping to report bugs so like you could wait so it's that short because i was wondering about it because it's kind of it's too new to tell how long it is even if you look up on on like how long to beat but i'm a, i'm very slow when it comes to games <laughs> i don't i don't play games very fast <laughs> um Try the Mirror vis uh, Visitor series. Oh, wait, I haven't heard of that. Stop self de- Yeah, no self-deprecating. Don't do it. It's not allowed. Not in my stream. Not in anyone else's stream either, even if I'm not a mod. But if I am a mod, I will. <laughs> I will tell you not to do it. So if you come into Sarah's stream, not allowed. <laughs> Floofy baby, yeah, yeah. Hey. She's looking at the the curtains <laughs> because it's windy. It's heckin' windy in here, but it's it's good though. It's nice with a, an extra breeze. You like both, you grew up around dogs, so always thought you'd get a, a dog and you still want one, but yeah, it's the high maintenance of a dog you're not ready for. Mm. That is fair. To be fair though, cats also live longer than most dog breeds, so you need to be prepared for that as well. So it's like, they're not as high maintenance, but you will have them for longer, which is like, it's, it's a good thing, but you also need to be prepared for it, you know, because I think a lot of people prepare for having dogs for a shorter period of time, even though, you know, you always get sad when something happens, but it's also like... I feel like a lot of people don't really prepare as much for the amount of time they will actually have a cat. Like, Trista, she is 15 years old now. And... Uh... I've, I've had her since before I moved out from my mom's house. Uh, so I've had her my entire adult life because I was 18 when I got her. <laughs> uh, and you don't really think about that at the time, that you, how long you're gonna have them for. You don't really think about it at all. Um, and she's very healthy, so she's gonna live for a lot longer. I would imagine and hope and assume. Um, I mean, I know you shouldn't assume, but based on her on her health, I think she will be around for a long time. Um, it depends vastly on playstyle, but uh, seeing some places fly fly through others take ages. Mm. Yeah, I think it's also when you stream, things t tend to take a while longer. But it's also, I don't know, I, I tend to take my time <laughs> because I tend to be very thorough when I play games. But looking after your boss's dog from time to time nearly kills you, but then he is a dick. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Is he, uh, is the dog a reflection of his owner? Um, or <laughs> maybe you're not allowed to say that. I don't, I'm, I'm gonna go visit the neighbor soon. <gasps> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do some barbecuing? Seen people take over an hour to beat the first boss. Seen people do it in like 15 minutes. Hmm. I see, I see. Well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna get into the game very soon though. I just haven't been here for a while, so I, 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 I want it to be a little bit chatty. Um... You'll add to uh, to be red list for <laughs> you have a growth list. Hey, it, it happens. It happens. I have uh, a never-ending list of mangas. Um, that like the this series right here. Yeah, I, my cam is not mirrored, so it's very hard to point. Um, <laughs> but the one here at the bottom. The Promised Neverland is one of the few manga series that I've actually finished. And here is 
the first 10 volumes of Demon Slayer, which I haven't started at all because I wanted to wait until the the series is over, like the, the anime is over. Um, so I haven't even started that, <laughs> but I, I keep buying them so I, like, I can accumulate a whole series by the time that I'm ready to read it, so I can just read it all in one go. It's like, I don't really, uh, I, I like binging, but I also, wh when it comes to books and stuff, it's kind of nice to not have to wait. But I'm not really that big of a fan of binging shows. For some reason. I don't know. I don't know. You'll make it your goal to be the cat's favorite so Lauren is the spare human. <laughs> That's kind of funny because uh, when I was living with my ex, Tusta, she absolutely fell in love with him. Like, she was so clingy around. Like, she's... When when he moved out, when I when I broke up with him, he... She, she ended up being... Clingy with me the same way she was with him. So it was like... It's like, she had gotten to a, a point where she... She couldn't, she couldn't, she couldn't come back from that. So, so I had to... I had to be the one she was clingy with. <laughs> But serious, he's always been just like I've been his main human uh, at all times. Um, it's nice weather there right now. We'll get warmer later. Mm. Make sure you drink plenty of water. But yeah, I've also been meaning to to ask Sarah, how you been? Because I haven't seen you either in a long time. Feed Lauren, keep her hydrated. <laughs> Your dogs are 15 too, and you're like, damn, you guys are really sticking it up. <laughs> cool. uh, yeah. I guess with dogs, it's it's um, a little bit more predictable depending on what breed you have. Sister, your sister has gotten two birds and completely tied herself down because birds are so uh, specialist to look after. She can't. She now can't go away with you and stuff. So you're very hyper aware and not wanting to tie yourself down too much. Mm. Yeah. So it's kind of like with my mom. She asked me if I wanted to go on a vacation with her and my granddad this summer. This was before I knew that I, I wouldn't be at work or anything. Uh, so I kind of... I didn't want to spend my holiday... Or like, I, I didn't want to spend vacation days on, on that. And I also... But then I was like, she's the one who looks after, looks after my cats when I go anywhere. So I was like, w what should I do with my cats? Then? <laughs> I don't have anyone to look after them. So I was like, ah... I think not. I think not. You made a new spreadsheet. Now you're flipping veggie burgers for din. <gasps> Ooh, nice. Have cold beer in the fridge. Could be worse. Could be worse. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. I'm still on Act 1 of Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, yeah. Forever in, in Act 1. It's actually funny because I I picked up my my off stream playthrough again uh, two days ago or something, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a lot of unpopular things in that playthrough. So um, because I'm I'm not very attached to that uh, playthrough, so uh, just to get some of the achievements out of the way that I I don't want to do on a on a, a character that I'm I like very much <laughs> not really he's just babied threw up on your <laughs> on your carpet because he wanted to leave the room really what how do how do you know also like how 
Was he just manipulating you? That's that sounds kind of toxic. <laughs> I'm glad you went uh, you went away and had some heat because now you feel like you've had your summer and you're ready to be cozy again. Had a cozy nap earlier and it was bloody lit. Mm. That sounds really good. I'm also ready for you know, this summer's actually been pretty cold. Which for me personally, I'm okay with that. But for the, the, the sense of how, like, what it means, that's not good. But if I was just thinking about myself and not what it means, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, how the summer has been. <laughs> this is one of my favorite emotes. That, it is a pretty good one. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. It's terrifying, but beloved. Mm. <laughs> You're alright coming down with Chris's illness now, but you've had a chill. Wait, what? What? What illness? What are you? What are you? What are you talking about? Don't be sick. It's not allowed. It started as a spreadsheet for the animes you want to watch next. Uh, then snowballed, and many, many hours later, you had to input every single anime on any watch list you have, plus all you've already watched. But wouldn't it just be easier to use one of the, the, like, um, I have two now. I have my anime list and analyst. I have both of those now. <laughs> that would be, wouldn't that be easier though? Then you're going to get a job working from home so that cat will definitely love you more. <laughs> Oh yeah, we also added pup time because I don't know. I I don't know why I didn't do it sooner, but I've been meaning to. I've been meaning to, and I just kind of forgot. But you know, it's it's cute. Hey, Palm, changed houses? No, I. This is my old setup. Well, I mean, uh, this is where I used to have my PC before. It's just I just moved it back. Um. How are you doing, Palm? Are you still uh, with your parents? Clever's dogs are being kept alive by the dedication to, to shitting everywhere. Uh, I know, I know. I feel so bad for you, Clever. That was so good. Thanks for asking. So much fun. Amazing people. Felt part of the family right away. Definitely going back next year. That, that's cool. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. You will look after look after my cats, but you would have to come here then. Send them on a plane with their little carry-ons. <laughs> I can assure you, they would not be happy about that. The carpet is plastic wrapped after the upset stummy. Uh, stummy, by the way, tummy incident. Oh no. Yeah, my cats have also uh, had a tendency to, to throw up on the carpet, and I bought new ones several months ago, and they're still wrapped in plastic. I haven't even taken them out of the plastic piece. Uh, like, do I really want to have new carpets that are being thrown up on as well now? So they're just, they're just still rolled up in plastic, uh, haven't been used. And I feel so bad about it because I'm intended to use them, but I was like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to have to ruin other car carpets as well. You hate it, but it keeps things cleaner. Mm. July has mainly flown by without it doing anything, including streaming because this depression, but feeling better now. Mm. I feel that. I'm sorry though because I don't know, I don't know. There's just something really depressing about summer. I don't know why, but it just is. <laughs> I know that sounds so weird for a lot of people, but just frustrating that July feels wasted. At least you got back to some animes when you didn't feel like leaving the couch for about a week. Mm. Yeah. But hey. The, the most summery month these days tend to be um, August, I feel like. 
And then September also tends to be really warm. So technically, you still have more summer left, you know? Well, not technically, but, but, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> You're ripping out the carpet when they pass on to the next plane. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of how I'm thinking as well. I think my carpets are just gonna be in plastic until I don't have my cats anymore. Which probably sounds insane, but I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Wait, because he does it to them if they scold him, he will piss shit or be sick somewhere. Oh no. <laughs> no. uh, maybe you'll challenge yourself to do so next year. You saw some good shows though in in between volunteering. Mm. <laughs> no, Chris. Chris is not carpet safe. We, you heard it here, guys. Chris is not carpet safe. It's part of the breed personality though. Fox Terriers can be very aloof and like to put themselves on a pedestal. Yeah, I'm just gonna say right now, and I thought about it even before stream because I have the, the upstairs neighbors, they have a small yappy dog. And I'm, I'm sorry to say, I do not like small dogs. I like dogs, but I don't do not like the small ones because they tend to have, well, you know, You know what it's like, you know? Small dogs, they just trying to seem bigger by taking a lot more space than they need to, by being as loud as possible, and uh, it really gets on my nerves. <laughs> and I also had a grandma who had a, always had small dogs, and they were always terrible, terrible dogs. She didn't know how to treat them though, so really her fault but anyway um got the plane germs the plane germs wait is it is it is it like it's not covid is it is dad man's illness and Elden ring addiction <laughs> got the old plane plague but what what is this is this an actual thing i've never heard of that You also come off a period stopping pill and have had the worst time with that, so you feel like you a bruised sack of potatoes. Mm. Yeah, because you probably didn't want to have uh, that stuff going on during holiday and stuff. <sighs> yeah, anything anything hormonal really messes things up. Um, in the guest room. Wait, in the guest room. What do you mean? It's not an addiction, it's one of, <laughs> it's one of the food groups. <laughs> you are? Met some friendos today? Oh, nice. That's nice. One of your girlfriends, uh, want to paint her room black in the forever home, so was showing her mine as a good example of how to do it without going too gloomy. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I also wouldn't, well, I mean, Black would be cool in the right room, especially if it's like matte black. But this is a really good color because it's it's like it's dark gray, but it's also warm gray and it's matte. So it's like it doesn't consume everything. You know what I mean? It's not like. Yeah. I think it's good. I think it's a good color. One problem you would have if you got a cat is your bedroom car uh, carpet is like that looped texture. Basically, the whole floor is a giant cat scratcher. <laughs> but that's in the bedroom, though. I, I like. I'm just gonna say now, my cats are not allowed in my bedroom. So you could just not have them there. But I mean, I understand for people who want to to have them in bed and stuff. I just I don't really like that personally. But sometimes it's like, I'm, I wish that I wasn't, that it didn't bother me as much. 
I just really like having my my bed clean and and cat hair free because everywhere else is just full of cat hairs. <laughs> um, Saturday stream means you can leave the doggos with me w w when you leave. <gasps> Aww. I kind of love that you do that. <laughs> Monkey heard me through the Bluetooth speaker and is now crying. Wait, no, why is he crying? They're in good company. <laughs> A lot of the time people treat small dogs not like dogs though, and that's the problem. They don't get trained half the time. True, true. But it's like they have a, a like, it, it's a small dog complex because you know how it is, you know you have the feisty little, tiny little friend who gets really loud and, and, and mad very easily because they're small, you know what I mean? It's kind of like that, but with dogs. <laughs> it just means you got sick from someone on the plane, it's not specific illness. Well, I mean, I... <laughs> I'm sorry though, that really sucks. The thing is your house is smaller so you wouldn't want to limit them, but also agree pets in the bed is a no-go. Mm. Wait, but how how small is your apartment? Mine is like... I don't know the exact measurements, but I think it's 76... No, 75... Probably 75 square meters. A small dogs thing, but you just... <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Monkey's annoying though, so you know it's fair criticism. <laughs> uh, you just send all the info in one message. Well, no, it's totally understandable because I do the same thing, but I've started to try to make my messages a little bit longer so that people don't miss the context of everything that I'm saying because it's like, oh, I need to stop doing this. <laughs> Because sometimes people tend to miss the first one, and then they just... Oh, would be a crying reason. Uh, yeah, see, I missed I missed that message too, but I saw it now. <laughs> a lot of men have a small dog complex too. True, very true, Chris. That is, that is a good point. I didn't want to say it, but you said it, so... <laughs> Um, but you're heading out, have fun, have fun, by the way. Um, that was fun and friends in one. Have, have fun. <laughs> but thank you so much, Clever. I will, I will take good care of your dogs in, in the only way that I can, which is just sitting here yapping. Um, so they won't have to. Um, but I hope you have fun, though. I hope you have fun. I do agree they can be sassier, but your next door, door neighbor have a small dog and he's the sweetest little bean. Mm. I mean, yeah, there's always exceptions. And it's not like every single dog will have that issue, but it's just... It seems to be such a common problem. Thing is, you wouldn't let cats outside where you live. You would be the weird people in the village that take their cats on walks. <laughs> But hey, that's that's good though. That you if you can take them out on walks and stuff so they get to be outside. When you say people missing context, we all know you're talking about rods. It's okay to say. I mean <laughs> <clears throat> It wasn't only rods, okay? But he was he was the first person that came to mind. I won't lie. Um <laughs> He was the first one, but he's not the only one. It's not hi only him who... who... <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, wait, he's playing Skyrim right now? He's modding Skyrim into Elden Ring? Wait, how? Wh what? Is that an actual mod? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised because Skyrim has mods for everything, but... 99.9% uh, uh, of the time, it's rods. Yeah. 
No, I think he did it. He he did it today because Roth has also not been streaming this week. Roth has also not been streaming this whole week. Elden Rim. Mm. <laughs> no, I think he he just did it now. He's streaming right now. Um. But yeah, we're having an ad in like five minutes. Should I just run the ads now so that we can get into the game? Most people here are subbed anyway, and we're just sitting here talking. So we're gonna we get it get into the game after the ads. So I'm just gonna do it now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this game. And yeah, the other times uh, that I play these days is. I was gonna say Skyrim now. <laughs> I meant Elden Ring. Um, but I also, like, I'm kind of itching to play some Metroidvanias. That's why I'm like, I'm so tempted to start playing Nine Souls as well. And I hate not finishing games now. But it's so hard to find enough time to do everything that I want to do on stream. It's really difficult. I have so many games I want to play, not enough time. If you don't want ads, make sure to sub now. <laughs> hey, you know, it's funny because I don't really get any ads anymore in streams. And I think it's because I'm using Opera. It's re really good at ad blocking. I think... Oh, well, Opera GX. Um. I don't know if it's only that. I think I also used a different type of thing. I'm not gonna say what it is because I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was something something Sargor sent me. But it's actually something that can block um, stuff. But you, the 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 streamer will still get revenue revenue from the ads even if you have them even if you have them blocked. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It is hard, too many good games to play on stream. It is, it is. Wait, but Chris, I've seen that you've been playing Elden Ring as well. Have you been playing the DLC or have you just been playing uh, the base game? Because I thought you would be streaming the, uh, like streaming the DLC, all of it. Or have you been playing the DLC? Hey, Veld, how you doing? Because... Yeah, I think, I think, honestly, it's not going to take too long until I can get into the DLC as well, because things have gone fairly quickly and I haven't even skipped everything. Like, I meant to skip more than I have. But, like, we're pretty much, well, almost done with Kaled. Last time I stopped at the, the, the Divine Tower of Kaled. And we did all of Castle, um, what's it called? The castle with, uh, Radon. But we haven't done the Radon fight, but we did everything at the castle before then. Redmain, I guess. Castle Red Redmain. Um, so I think the only thing left is... Radon. And the tower. And then we can move over to uh, Altus Plateau. Lately, I've noticed ads not playing on Twitch on Opera GX without using additional plugins, which is nice. Mm, so it's not just me then. That's good. So you also use Opera GX? I used to use uh, Firefox, but it's terrible to watch Twitch with. I absolutely hate using Twitch with uh, Firefox. So I only use Firefox for... some things. Not a cold sub now, please. Promise, please. <laughs> and skips the ad, sub, sub, sub. Without being brainwashed at all. Don't... Now everyone will know. 
Now everyone will know that I, I... Never mind. Never mind. Let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> I'm playing uh, the DLC on uh, on an off stream playthrough. You finished it yesterday. The last boss is insanely hard. Damn. You finished it yesterday? Damn. Wait, so how long... Like... Where you had gotten in the DLC on stream, how far had you gotten into the DLC at that point? We're just like halfway through or something then? No spoilers, but there is something you're dying for me to find in the DLC because you know Pog IRL, really? Oh, damn. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I am looking forward to it though. I've I've actually managed to avoid every single spoiler except like one or two boss names. Well, one boss name I already knew about because it's like pretty obvious. Uh because of the statue and everything. And you also see the seed in a trailer. Um there's one boss name that I've heard of and I've gotten it spoiled so many times now without knowing anything about what it looks like or anything. Just the name. It's only the name. I don't know anything else. Because it's apparently some a boss that a lot of people really hate. <laughs> so, um, but that's literally all I know about the DLC. And I would like to keep it that way. We've been using Opera GX for quite some time now. Mm. I have two. I have two. I really, I really like it. I'm doing an all remembrance run for the new game plus run. Um, uh, probably, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I think so. I think so. And it's been going pretty well. I haven't really died much. Uh, I think I've died to a boss, like two bosses. Two deaths have been to. Two different bosses, I think. Uh, otherwise, the the deaths I've had have been to like gravity and stuff, <laughs> like stupid things. Um, so it is pre going pretty well. You still have Firefox on your PC, but you hardly ever still use it. Mm. I use it for my my uh, YouTube stuff. So I have my the the YouTube that I have for bots and stuff. I have that open in like I'm logged in on Firefox on that, and then I use the Opera GX for my my other YouTube that I just use for like in private, you know. That's pretty much all I use the my Firefox for. I think. <laughs> you should sub. <laughs> and you are you already are. You've already brain, been been brainwashed, Chris. How do you come up with that fantastic idea of all for yourself? <laughs> you end game on the stream playthrough. Two bosses left. Oh, okay. So you got pretty far then. Got the last boss spoiled in the first week. Damn. Is it because you follow a lot of FromSoft stuff on on Twitter and stuff? Or is it YouTube? What are the reaction station and VIP redeems? Uh, the reaction thing, actually, that should be paused. I should probably pause that because... Um, I tend to not get around to it anyway. Um, so don't, don't worry about that one. But the VIP redeem is just to be a VIP. And um, it's just a role you have. It doesn't really do much. It's just something to sink your points into. <laughs> I don't really I don't really think anyone has any benefits of being VIP. Maybe they can just post links without having permission for it. I don't know. I actually don't remember. It just seems like a smart idea for some reason. Mm. 
haven't really died much, but it's because I've been so over level though. Starting on new game plus. Like my health bar has been so big. <laughs> That I can take so many hits without dying. Um, I'm going to tell you all the spoilers because everyone knows you're the biggest Elden Ring fan. The final boss is called Mr. Stinky Pants and he's a giant crab with a rainbow mohawk. That does sound pretty epic. Is that what I was would be would be pogging over, Chris? Because I can see that. I can see that. No, I mean, damn you, Lauren. <laughs> I can't hold it in anymore. Do you know we have we have this one? Just 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 saying. It was Twitter, yeah, that spoiled it. You muted Eldring on there after that. Mm. I muted people that I follow. <laughs> um Because that's the only way that I would see any spoilery stuff anyway. Um so I muted people that I know will be posting about uh Elden Ring stuff on Twitter. It's nothing personal if if you if you feel like you it might apply to you. It's nothing personal. It's just because of Elden Ring. <laughs> You're two thirds of the way to VIP. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like so so it's like when it comes to certain people, I'm like, well, you you kind of are a VIP anyway. But it's like the reason why I have the VIP being so expensive is just because I don't like picking who gets to have VIP and who doesn't. I, d I don't want to like play favorites or anything, so I'm just like, if you have that amount of points, you deserve to have VIP. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, I just don't want the burden of having to choose who gets to be VIP or who doesn't. So it's like, you can choose. <laughs> hey, Craig! How you doing, Craig? Hey, you haven't missed anything. I went live an hour earlier than I tend to, but I also said that I wouldn't really have any schedule going this week. Um, so, you are kind of on time for my usual schedule, but you haven't missed anything because we've just been chatting anyway. But I was going to get into the game after the ad break, so we're gonna we can do that now. Uh, you and Chris have an epic adventure. Gonna play? No time for DLC. Wait, what are you gonna be playing? Already a VIP in your heart. <laughs> Got a good idea who it is. Not posted anything on Twitter to avoid spoiling it for folks. Mm. You got a good idea who it is? Yeah, it starts with a B. That's all I can say. That's the name that I've heard. <laughs> I don't know if that tells you anything because I don't know the other names, so I don't know if that actually says anything, but... Um... 24k to VIP for you. Nice, nice. Going to lurk, gonna do some reading as that is your whole personality now. Hey, it's just the ADHD, Lauren. It's like... You get hyper focused on something and you just can't stop. That's that's all. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I get. I guess I had I had a stream open in my tabs and I ended up unmuting it on accident. Um. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jump into the game. Hold on, let me pause the music. And then... Orion, how you doing? Did you want the reaction station redeem paused right now? I think mods can do it as well. Yes, yes. I will, uh, I would appreciate that. Thank you, Ryan. But I hope you're doing well. Doing mayor right now? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Well... You do whatever you want to do and what you need to do to feel better. But yeah, I've seen very little of this game. Pretty much all I've seen is just what you see on 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 Steam. <laughs> so I, this is what I like though. 
when it comes to games to know as little as possible. But you don't know what that is. Hmm. Well, for me, it's... If I don't feel like watching something or playing something, I usually prefer to take a nap. I don't know how how you feel about taking naps, but highly recommend taking a nap. <laughs> At least you look intelligent reading. People don't realize that the pages are covered in smut. <laughs> hey. There's nothing wrong about that. There's nothing wrong about reading smuts, okay? <laughs> you recently got back into reading, found a couple of books at the thrift store that piqued your interest. Haven't re read nearly enough the past few years. Same, same. And it feels really nice to get back into reading. It really, it really does. Classy smuts, yeah. <laughs> Recommend a nutritious playthrough of Elden Ring to ease your troubles. <laughs> Orion is playing Elden Ring as well, the DLC. You want to do something, but there is not lots you feel you can do or play. Bulge Gate 3 Act 3 is not properly working with this PC again. Oh. You want to play it only when June is with you as well. If it wasn't DLC, then it would be maybe nice. Hey, you can always start a new one, but I also don't really like playing, uh, starting a new playthrough when I'm working on one already. But you're the same, you used to be such a bookworm, then forgot about books, now your addiction is back. Hmm. You have to see this through evil. You will, Orion. You're playing Sly Cooper today, haven't you played it a bit in recent days? That's been nice. That's good. New game. Once upon a time, the earth was brimming with life. Flowers in full bloom, majestic animals, and diverse beings coexisting in perfect harmony and balance. No creature stood above another. All enjoyed a life of simplicity and altruism. However, some beings. I thought it said autism, not altruism. <laughs> Strayed from their shared ideals. Oh, hold on. You can't hear much? Emotions That's weird. Extreme, they began to dominate and separate the world's inhabitants. Thus were born the seven deadly sins. Wrath, gluttony, greed, lust, sloth, pride, and envy. Is it okay now? Those who embodied these primordial emotions were known as allegories. Seven beings who had forsaken their physical forms to spiritually embody their respective sins. For a millennium, each allegory sought to sway others to their conviction, sparking wars and decimating numerous species. Envy, insatiable in its desire, yearned to possess everything, including the other sins. One fateful, frigid night, consumed by this dark ambition, envy transformed each allegory into a mask, materializing their essence. However, this process was so powerful that it was important to judge. Uh, Ironically, envy uh, took his own evil spirit and turned himself into a mask. With a final breath of Welcome in! Welcome in! For the and raid, Tar. How you return. doing? How's and stream? Who are you playing? Herein lies the genesis of our tale. I couldn't pay attention to what was being say, said here, anyway. So <laughs> well, welcome in. You were playing Alan Wake two? Damn. How are you liking it? I have only played Alan Wake one, and I really want to play two, but I don't want to play it on it. <laughs> but how how was it? How are you enjoying it? We just started the game, by the way, so you, you haven't you haven't missed anything of the gameplay. We're playing a new game called uh, Weko, the the Mask Gatherer. Oh, we get an achievement right off the bat. Okay. 
No, 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 I didn't mean to click. Okay. I was just gonna scroll. <laughs> hey, Gr Griffiths. Is it Griffiths or Griffiths? I mean, welcome in. Welcome in. Um, and Sa Saichi? Saichi? I... Uh, Welcome in, welcome in. I'm sorry. I'm terrible at names. Uh, I'm terrible at names. So you need to you need to correct me if I'm saying anything wrong, which I probably do. The sound, yeah. I just I had to bump up the audio for the desktop because the game was really uh, the volume of the game was really low. So I hope the alert wasn't too loud. <laughs> but yeah, go check out Tara if you haven't already. Uh, She's playing, um, well, now she's playing Alan Wake, but she was also been playing, uh, Baldur's Gate 3, which is, which is how we got to know each other. Um, and also a fellow, uh, Nordic and, uh, that's mean, that means we have two Finnish people in chat right now, at least. I mean, I can't say anyone who's lurking or anything, but at least two Finnish people in chat. <laughs> Hey, Volterra, welcome in, welcome in. Um, you love it? You're shit scared? Is it... Have you played the first one? Because the, the first one was, was kind of scary in a way. But I don't know how the second one is in comparison. Uh, he's cute, he's cute, he's cute. <laughs> Internet wine auntie? Mm -mm. Either way works. Okay. Okay. I will. I will. I will remember that. But also, thank you for the the follow. We do have anonymous follows, by the way, in case people don't want to draw any attention to themselves, but wanna wanna stick around. You know. Just a little guy. Yeah. Just a little guy. When when we heard about the masks, though, I was like, wait, this kind of reminds me a little bit of Kana. Um. A little bit of Kana. But also, I forgot to introduce myself. For those of you who are new here, who just came in with the raid, my name is Repikos. I've also changed my setup, so this is brand new today. Uh, this is the first stream that I have with its new setup. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a Norwegian streamer. I am... Uh, well, as you can say, I, see, I, I love Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> and Hollow Knight. And all, all, all the, I love all the games. Uh, well, not all of them, but a lot of them. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so we're, we're currently playing a new game today uh, that I got a free Steam key of, so we're testing that out. Otherwise, I am playing Elden Ring and in Stars and Time in the other on the other days. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, so we just we just started, so we haven't we haven't done anything except seen the. Um, Intro. Uh, just pick one. <laughs> you mistyped mine, so we good. Hey, I I didn't I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> uh, goes to change his bio to internet. Internet's beer uncle. <laughs> At least it isn't Griffith. Mm. Wait. Who was that a reference to? Or what was that a reference to? I mean, I know you you mean like Berserk, but like... I mean, what was that a re response to, is what I meant. Um, So many BG3 friends? Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> you started the first one, but you feel like the second one gets into your head in a deeper way. That's cool, because that is... I mean, the first one was very frustrating. I've never been that frustrated with a game on stream before. Um, but the the story was really something that I enjoyed a lot. And also, Alan Wake is technically also finish a Finnish game. Both of them. I mean. New setup looks very cool and cozy. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Is this the old place? I was. Yeah. Uh, I just moved it back to my my old uh, setup. Or like, yeah. I just moved my setup to to where I used to have it before. 
Alan Wake 1 is the is best play as a control DLC. <laughs> Elden Ring, yeah, I started a new playthrough, so we, we're not that far into it. So I haven't started the DLC. Loves all the games, including the weird hentai ones on Steam. Well, I, I can't really say I have any any experience with it. But, you know, you can't knock it until you tried it, I suppose. I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't tried. <laughs> Control is also amazing. I have not played it, but I do have it. My plan was to play that after Alan Wake 1. But I've heard a lot of good things about Control as well. Uh, cooking up some new vet PR, <laughs> including promises of hentai now. Hey, that's not allowed on Steam. And, and on Steam. On stream. It's allowed on Steam, but not on stream. <laughs> oh, you heard Grive. Oh, you had to double check. Oh, that's that's what you meant. I see, I see. Yeah, I'm just slow at catching up. That's all. <laughs> I mean, I guess the way that you say that name kind of it sounds like how they say it in Japanese. So I, I guess I can see that. <laughs> A woman of culture. There's a lot of good hentai games on Steam too, not only weird ones. I I I will take your word for it. I will take your word for it. I don't really have any experience with it. But hey, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm sure that if it has a good story and stuff, and it's not just lewd for the sake of being being like basically a, a playable uh, playable porn, you know? I guess I can see it, but if it's... I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it. You hate Griffith, but not the first time someone calls you that. <laughs> hey, that's the good response. Also, I have also not continued uh, with my Berserk. Uh... I'm- I'm also- I, this is- Hold on. This is volume 6, by the way. This is where I am. And I think it's- well, it's not volume 6, but it's the- Yeah, I'm about to start 17. Volume 17. That's where I stopped. And it's been a few months. But I still have it near my- my- my PC. Um, <laughs> you've started playing Control some time ago. You want to finish it one day when you didn't realize it was made by a Finnish. And, the, uh, and then when you heard at the start someone was singing in Finnish, it was a moment. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, I am. They, they are. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> you can't make everything a souls like. Yes, you can. <laughs> uh, nice. It is. It is pretty nice. It is pretty nice. I do like the the deluxe editions of of uh, Berserk. You need to get some tea and try to ward off all the nightmares that came, that came wants to give you. Have an amazing stream. Thank you so much for the raid again, Tara Wheel. Hi, uh, I hope I hope you have a good night and sleep well. And also, I should I usually tend to say it that anyone who, who raids in to just you know, if you need to raid and run, totally okay. Do whatever you need to do or want to do. Um. So yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Pre-ordered the $100 premium gold bonus edition of Schlong Swords. <laughs> hey, if you if you go to the Steam front page and you scroll down to see like new releases and stuff and you haven't filtered out um the more lewd games on there, some of them have some really silly titles. <laughs> it's like you can you don't even have to hover over it to know that it's it's a not safe for work game because of the title alone, and it's <laughs> some of them are so funny. <laughs> uh, something like that I might check out the '97 edition then. Wait, the new one had terrible CG. 
<laughs> Wait, since you've gone down an anime rabbit hole lately, you learned that the Berserk anime from 1997 is the good one and the new one was a total disaster or something along those lines. Some people seemed upset. Um, yeah. Well, the... It's kind of... They aren't just... There's just not just one new one. It depends on if you think about the series or the movie trilogy because the movie trilogy is pretty good like it's not it's not the best but the the anime series is just terrible but i, I have yet to see the 97 one it's been on my to watch list for ages though but i haven't gotten to it yet In Germany, the more lewd games here filter out for you. Wait, it does uh, on default. Need an alt uh, gift you <laughs> to give you main account games. Really? That's kind of strange. I thought it would be. I thought that was would be something you would change in the settings yourself. <laughs> That's a schlong bat. Wait, really? The animated one is just not great. Wait, but they're all animated. Oh, the CG animated. Yeah, that one is terrible. That one is absolutely terrible. I was... I had to sit through both of those seasons. The second one was pretty good, though, compared to the first one. Uh, But still not good. Still not good. But I would say that the, um, the Golden Age arc... The movies that was also recently made into a series like two ish years ago that one is pretty good though that that one is decent the anime series is not good the animation sucks and the sound design is some of the worst you've heard mm. i've only sat through it once not stealing ideas you can't prove it's the sarah game's original <laughs> The reason is that Steam doesn't enforce age ver verification, which is mandatory by German law, so it's blocked. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Hmm. You can't enable and uh, not safe for work games anymore. Interesting. I didn't know that. I'm looking for the worst animes on Crunchyroll lately. Seen one of them already, but mainly infamous, terrible animes to go. Um. Gonna be a fun time. <laughs> But Steam does have age verification. I have to input your age all the freaking time. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It does. I didn't think about that at first. Oh, they don't... Oh, it's... Oh, that... They go that hard with the ID and stuff. Okay, but I missed the first dialogue box here. Um, so I don't know. But Oz, I guess this is the, the, the little um, robot thing here. I'm Oz. I'm an old, small robot with a big mustache. You have a big mustache? I guess I can see it. It looks like we travel through this portal together. But I can't remember anything. Let's find a way out of this place. Let's go, Waco. Okay, I need to change the... Uh... How do I... Let's just bump up the audio to the max, and then I can turn down the volume of my desktop a little bit. Let me know if it's okay, though. Some countries worked out that the age verification form doesn't actually stop anyone. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it shouldn't, because if people want to see it, they can. So it's like, I can definitely see that it doesn't really do anything. I guess, for, I've just considered it being more for the sake of 
filtering it out for you for your sake that if you don't want to watch it then you know that this is not for you if you want something family friendly or something that that is what you're looking for yeah. but it won't keep anyone out you love his mustache <laughs> yeah, yes. he has the the Wait, what do you call that in English? That type of mustache? Because we have a word for it in Norwegian, but I never actually thought of it as being a specific word in, in English. Oh. Roll. You can roll by pressing B button. When rolling, Waco becomes immune to damage, allowing you to quickly evade enemy attacks and maneuver. <laughs> hey! So come in! I will lurk. I actually... <laughs> funny because when I was open I had your stream open because I was lurking um <laughs> and I accidentally unmuted your, your stream uh <laughs> well and I heard the emperor in 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 <laughs> when I unmuted the stream <laughs> welcome in though go go give cozy Rihanna a follow she's currently playing Bulge Gate 3 for the first time and she's really close to the end really close did you did you beat you know who did you beat you know who? Hold on, let me just. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid. The raid video is so cute. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, it is. It is a, from Hollow Knight, one of my favorite games. But how are you? How is the stream going? It's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. We just started this game because we've been chatting for about an hour before getting into the game. <laughs> but yeah, it was going. It's it's going pretty good. Um, thank you for lurking means a lot. Of course, of course. I, I really enjoy being in your stream. So, of course I want to I want to help support, you know? Um, so yeah, go go follow Rian if you Those can. Those who seek danger over cheese don't tend to live as long. <laughs> thank you, Ryan, for the 30 Those. bits. And Rhiannon is also romancing Gale, by the way. So, uh, that was that was the perfect perfect uh alert for that thank you ryan <laughs> you have defeated you know who and you have been a little bit emotional with carlac's story oh yeah 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 especially after that one yeah that that is totally understandable so you're ready for the big the big thing next time right you did the final thing before going to the absolute final thing <laughs> Um, but yeah, go check out Cozy Rian. She has a really co cozy, cozy stream and also tends to, to like, really get into the, the, um, the um, psychological aspects of the game as well, which is really cool. I really enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of, we have a lot of, um, Baldur's Gate three fans in here as well and i switched my setup today no not today uh well it was technically two days ago but i haven't streamed since then so i also have the poster from the the the, 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 the deluxe edition behind me now <laughs> um i think you are you got one thing left to do with the hammer and then the real <laughs> never thought i could get so excited about someone's forehead but here we are Ryan, <laughs> thank you for the 60 bits. You're too kind. You're too kind. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> we love Carlac as well here. I honest, honestly, we love all of them here. I, I, I speak for everyone when I say that. <laughs> um, And then the real end, you think? Mm. Oh, that's going to be so exciting. Are you going to stream tomorrow or is it uh, next week? Skyrim taught you to seek danger to get cheese. Mm. That is actually a very good point. Games do tend to, to make you seek... Uh, well... You, yeah, I mean... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you love my room? Thank you. Thank you. I just, like, I used to have my desk behind me. So it's like, I haven't moved very far. 
I haven't moved the desk very far. <laughs> I just needed a, a change. Starts to tear up, get back in the pot. <laughs> what? Uh, that's that's not the cheese you... you, you uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> But yeah, Rhiannon, if you need to if you need to raid and run, obviously feel free to do do that. If you need to chill. Cozy underscore Rhiannon Sheard. X100. Thank you so much for the hundred bits. You're too kind. Thank you. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Thank you. But yeah, I was uh, just meant if you if you if, after you've been streaming for a while, you, sometimes you need to relax, unwind. Get some food, get something to drink, you know, do whatever you need to do. But also, I forgot to introduce myself for anyone who is new here. Um, my name is Repikos, I'm a Norwegian streamer. I am currently, uh, these days I'm playing Elden Ring, uh, the sec my second playthrough on New Game Plus. And today we're trying out something new called Waco the Mask uh, Gatherer, which is a cute 3D platformer. That is also a Souls-like. So we just started though. So we're just going through tutorial stuff, but we've been chatting so much that I haven't actually been doing anything in the game. <laughs> so even though I've been live for over an hour and a half, I haven't actually been doing anything in the game. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, um, well, yeah. What, 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 I just haven't streamed in a whole week. It's been a whole week since my last stream, so I can't. I tend to get a little bit chatty um, when it's been a while. <laughs> we really appreciate all the times you come in to your stream. We're really enjoying company in the BG3 playthrough. So support back. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I, I just, it's always so much fun to watch someone play the game for the first time, but also someone who really truly seemed to enjoy it and like pay attention to uh, the characters and, and their dialogues and their stories and everything. I really, really love that because I don't know about you, but uh, well, obviously you, you haven't watched too much of other people play because you don't want to get spoiled, but a lot of people tend to ignore a lot of these things and it's like, but that's the, that's the, that's the beauty of this game, you know, the characters and their their stories and their personalities and getting to know them. So it's just it's really nice to see someone else who really who really seem to enjoy it. You know? So many things to catch up about. It's true. It's true. <laughs> um so yeah, this is basically just saying the same thing as in other souls type of games that you just dodge to avoid taking damage. Wait, does that mean that I can do that here? Yeah. Oh, I can. Nice. <laughs> so many characters also see different sides when you play differently. Th that is also true. Depending on your choices, uh, characters will also kind of... respond differently depending on what you decide to do. The game I'm playing today looks really cute. Yeah, it does it does look really cute. I, I haven't I haven't really seen much of it except for what I've seen on Steam. But I do I do love cute and cozy games, but I also love Souls games, so it's like, you know, this seems like a good game for me. <laughs> Let's see. But yeah, I got a I got a free Steam key to to play it on stream. Um. Oh, it's a little dude. Does he he have a mask with with tusks? Hello, Waco. Who am I? Uh, who am I? Oh, it's not very important if you don't remember me. But if you're here, it means that you have failed again. What? You lost all your items? You're lucky I appreciate you. Here, take this potion and heal yourself if needed. 
Potion of Restoration. This ornate potion heals whoever drinks its contents. It seems to regenerate it by itself when, re when resting. <laughs> At a big Toro. A big Toro? Is that like a big... Big bull? <laughs> Is that why he has tusks? This, this guy? No, that seems more like boar tusks. And read this if you don't remember how to use your potion. Now, if I were you, I'd go and gather your equipments that's scattered around this place. I'm sure you'll figure it figure it out. Here's a hint. You can activate this lever to continue. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, so we're basically gonna um we're gonna collect masks and stuff. Is <laughs> because it's kind of in the name of the game. Um the tiny men right now, yeah, who <laughs> needs to go to sleep. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Uh, you get if people don't want to or have time or whatever to play it again, because it can be quite long, but it's really a lot of things when playing again differently. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'm talking about people who play the game for the first time as well. They sometimes they just talk through the dialogue or they just skip dialogue and like but what are you playing the game for it's like most of it is cutscenes and and characters and and you know role playing and and you know so it's like if you're skipping all of that what are you playing it for <laughs> you know and i know i know a lot of people uh can play like you you can play the game however you want but it's like, I feel like you're missing out if you don't pay attention to these things. But that's just me. Um, Potion of Restoration. Weko is able to heal himself thanks to this potion. Press the X button to take a sip. Be careful, this is really... Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's basically just telling you the same as most Souls-like games. But it's like, it's it doesn't look like a Souls game, so I guess... It makes sense that they have this tutorial. In general, when people also just skip cutscenes, you don't understand. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't really... Because it, it kind of takes away from, from most of the game. You know? Did it say what's floating with you? Yeah, it's um I don't remember what his name. But he has a mustache and everything. <laughs> I do I do remember that. Can we Okay, so we can only swim for a limited time, I guess. Um do people even understand and enjoy the game story skipping that? For you it's, it's sad to play a video game like that as well. Yeah, I don't know, because the there are a lot of different games that don't have a lot of dialogue or cutscenes that has more action and so I can understand then but if you don't enjoy that type of thing then maybe RPGs like, heavily story-based RPGs may not be for you, <laughs> is what I'm thinking then. With your weapon equipped, you can attack by pressing the RB button. You can also perform special attacks by sprinting or jumping before attacking. Okay. I don't have a weapon, though. <laughs> but I do now. The Polyvalent Blade. A basic weapon with a unique gecko tail design, offering balanced performance in various combat situations. Okay, so this probably tells me how to equip it. Open the inventory menu by pressing the start button. This is where you can change your equipped weapon items and access the game's settings. There we go. Yeah, I don't have anything else except the potion. I was just gonna see if I had a heavy attack, but uh, it doesn't seem like I do. Uh, the godskin peeler? It does look like the godskin peeler. 
<laughs> I actually used that quite a bit in, in Elden Ring during the weapon wheel spin. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Let's see. You can sprint by pressing the LB button. You'll need it to get out of this room. Oh. I see, I see. What? I am confused. I'm very confused. Um, you can split it. <laughs> uh, some people just do like only action and yeah. But it sounds like it's timed like a bomb. And then it said that I need to sprint to get out of this room. So I was like, do I need to sprint? And then it would just explode, but nothing happens. So I don't, I don't know what they mean. Oh, oh! It opens the door again. Never mind. I just didn't look around, you know. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm slow. Okay, be patient with me. <laughs> Oh, you did the thing, Orion. Thank you. Yeah, those are the weapons that we have uh, gotten on the, the weapon wheel spin. Thank you, Orion. Sorry, I was... No, no, no. Don't apologize. I didn't... I, I forgot that it was added. So, thank you for reminding me. The store seems to be locked. LB to sprint is a wild choice. Yeah, it is kind of interesting. <laughs> but we can go here now. You did the last stream. Yeah, I just I just kind of forgot about it because it's been so long. It's been a whole week. <laughs> Lock, unlock the camera onto your enemies by pressing it right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ah. Ha. 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 Oh, we're getting a mask. A mysterious wooden shield. A mysterious broken shield mask that belongs to Waco. It, its origin and full potential is unknown. So do we have to like equip different masks and will give us different abilities or something then? A new shield masks by pressing the RT button when blocking with your shield, you'll take stamina damage instead of health damage. Mm. Makes sense. Wait, I, that's not what I meant. Yeah. Okay, RT. That's kind of wild though that I... That it's RB and RT. You would think that it would be on one of the L buttons instead. Just meant because you kind of re reflex the command from the mention of the weapons. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Ow. Uh, you, some time ago, like this year, you played this one game, like changed character by picking up different skulls. You thought it was like Metroidvania, but it's more roguelike game. It was like a PS Plus game one month. Oh, do you remember what it was called? You want to finish that one as well one day, but it's not super duper investment for you to play it right now. 
Hmm. Oh, oh, that game. Yeah, I've heard of that game. This one looks very sus. This, this block. Can we open the door now? <gasps> we can, because it was pink before, and now it's green. You know what green means? Green means go. It's RNG, what skulls you get. Okay, yeah, so kind of... Kind of what you said then, with it being uh, like a... A rogue-like. Ah, it's good to be outside. Wait, do you see that grand structure over there? It seems ancient. I think that is a big Toro. Not only can it help us save our progress and travel around the world, but I believe we can also rest here. Doing so would refill your potions too. Let's go, Waco. Well, I didn't really use my potion, but it's good it's good to know. Green means clean. That too. <laughs> it's like when you die, you start again, but you can collect stuff to upgrade and level up stats. Hmm. Yeah, so kind of Hades. Similar to Hades, but you still get to keep some 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 of the progress. Hello. Hey, adventure. Keep down. Don't you see those creatures ahead? Those are slimes. They appeared to uh, not long after one of our residents ventured to the beach and never returned. And now these slimes are threatening the vi the village. Help deal with the slimes? Sure. Really? You'd help us? Excellent. If you manage to clear out all the slimes, Hoshi Village will be secure again. Uh -huh. Stay low. Don't draw their attention. We're here to monitor the situation. Enemies are very close. Be careful. I will be careful. Oh. It looks like the door was locked years ago. Okay. Um... But like 2D platform. Mm. Can you pet those slimes? I think you're supposed to kill them. Because we they wanted us to get rid of them. Yeah, I want to press B to to Well, I mean, I can do that to roll, but I, I'm to dash, I mean. <laughs> ah, don't lock. It's, it shifts the, the lock on. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I can just get you to kill them for me. I do like when when enemies do damage to each other as well, and not just me. <gasps> well, that was very Zelda-like, you know, when you kill all enemies in a camp or something, and you get the chest. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> very similar to that. It slitter just blobs. You can go poke poke them with your spears. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pet them with your sword. Mm. Oh, you done it? How did a little thing like you manage that by yourself? Hey, they're just slimes. I mean, of course you did it. Can you just keep quiet about your heroism, pretty please? Wait. Okay. A reward. Huh, of course. I hereby grant you passage into the village. The safety of innocence is the greatest of rewards in itself, after all. But... Okay, so this one is locked as well, so we can probably not go there. Yet. But I want to see what this dude says. Halt! 
It is forbidden to go to the beach. It is far too dangerous. The mayor's orders. If you don't agree with that, go speak with the mayor. Those doors remain closed. Okay. Well, I just wanted to check, okay? Yeah. It's always satisfying when you can use enemies doing damage to one another to, to your advantage. Mm. Absolutely. Okay, I don't think I should uh, take that risk. <laughs> because apparently we're terrible at swimming. Um... Have you watched the Paris of, um, Olympics opening? I have not. I I I don't do sports, <laughs> but I've heard a lot of things about it though. I've heard a lot of talk about it. Guji, yeah, I heard that too. I was that was pretty cool. It is too dangerous dangerous at the beach. Yeah, I never go to the beach. <laughs> It is, it is dangerous. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what this is gonna do, but we, we, we're probably gonna get the ability to open it at some point. Let me talk to you. Hey, you're a stranger. It's a pleasure. Do not worry for my safety. I'm not afraid of what lurks in these woods. I jog. So, in, in case you are, uh, in danger, just jog. Oh. Huge egg. This huge egg seems absolutely delicious. And, uh, my instinct was to try to smash it. No. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna stay here for a bit m longer. We just got here. Um... So bald and smart and beautiful and inclusive. <laughs> you love the kind of color palette, uh, palette we see for this type of cozy games. Mm. Yeah, it feels very comfy and, and cozy and... Yeah. And very chill. You don't do sports either, but you had to watch it. It's your town. I mean, that's that's understandable. I would probably too, if it was my town. Yeah, I did also see that it was people kind of compared this to Zelda games as well, and I can kind of see it. <gasps> it's a pig. Yeah. It's a look at it. Ah, traveler, you seem curious about my little companion here. These are not your average animals. They're all round, fluffy, and absolutely endearing. We call them Q. 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 However, they often escape and I struggle to keep track of them. If you find and carry all three of these creatures back to the coop over there, uh, over here, I'd be so thankful. And I might even give you a little something for the trouble. Uh, I thought you loved, uh, loved a sports. <laughs> Your team gets a gold point, you're always talking about it. My team, yeah, 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 my team always gets all the, all the, all the goals and, and, and things. It's true. I guess we can't open this one. Um, I haven't been that proud of your country for a long time. <laughs> That's good. That is good. I, have, I, I think it's pretty cool though that that the uh, metal band has gotten the chance to open something that huge. It's, it's a pretty big deal. Of course, Sarah knew the metal man himself. Mm -mm. There's definitely some zeldosity zel to this for sure. <laughs> zeldosity. <laughs> I like it. Um, you want to adopt the pig? Yeah, it's cute. That's adorable. And it's so squishy. Hoshi Village. Welcome to Hoshi Village, a lively little town where life is savored, much like our renowned O oh, Cheese. O oh, Cheese! They also enjoy their cheese. Delight in the easygoing peace and don't hesitate to talk with the mayor if you need any help. Hello, little green. Welcome to Hoshi Village. I'm off duty today. But if you need something, feel free to talk to the mayor. 
He's the one who makes decisions around here. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Round pig, oh, you love it. Yeah, it's adorable. <laughs> uh, they were epic. Best thing. You're not biased, promise. Mm -mm. You should find a clip of it because it looks absolutely sick. They played in a... Oh, I was like, what is a thing castle? Is that a specific type of castle that I haven't heard of? <laughs> but then I was like, oh, you mean fucking castle. <laughs> I noticed something strange when I was young. I witnessed someone emerge from a mysterious structure behind the Hoshi Forest waterfall. Oh, so you can actually find things behind the waterfall here. Oh shit, we're having an ad break. I'm sorry. I won't do anything during the ads, ads by the way. What about it? I. I. Hold on. Um. Show a clip of it because it. Yeah, wait, wait. I, I read that. Or on the side of it. <laughs> You'll have a, a, sh a shafty. A shafty. Hmm. Tushta is back. She's back. Hmm. Hey. Now it's quiet because I can't open the game again. Uh, well, I mean, I can. I just don't want to, to continue the dialogue. <laughs> She's just looking out the window. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I was gonna ask, is the volume okay now after I changed the settings? It's like her her tail just needs to to be in my face all the time. I don't know what it is. It's like it's like a face seeking missile, <laughs> but a tail. <laughs> I just don't want people to miss anything during ad breaks. So I I don't I don't want to play any anything in the game. Like, I don't want people to have, feel like they need to be subbed. To not miss out on anything. Uh, kitty, yeah. What do you guys think of? I I, I added pup time earlier this week. I think it's cute. I've been meaning to do it for a long time, but then I just kind of forgot. Ugh, I have cat hair in my nose. Ugh. <laughs> Dude, it's so nice with that breeze coming through the window. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, it's not common to have uh, AC here. In in the colder countries in Europe. Wait! Ryan! You didn't have to do that! <laughs> uh, Ryan, thank you so much! Gifting three months? Three months? To, to pop time? Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. You didn't have to do that. Aw. Hey, Cookie! Welcome in! Guess you're here now. Go kväll, go kväll. <laughs> yeah, because you're in Sweden, right? Welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, we got raided by by Rhiannon earlier. Also, we, we're done with the ads, so we can switch the screen and go back to the game. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, here in, in like the colder um, parts of Europe, we it's not common to have AC in, in our homes. So I always have windows open all, all day long. As long as I, I'm not, uh, like, as long as I'm home, the window is always open <laughs> during summer. Uh, you want to get this ice cream thing? You don't know the name, but it's not exactly like ice cream cone, but something. Mmm. Just... <laughs> um. 
Yeah, we missed the first part of this dialogue because I accidentally clicked on the screen. I didn't mean to, so I don't know what, what he said before. Uh, the others don't believe me. They even say that I have an overactive imagination. But mark my words, there's something hidden there. Oh, and if you're looking for the mayor, he's right up at the hill here. Or there. Let's see what he said, said first. I noticed something strange when I was young. I witnessed someone emerge from the mysterious structure behind the... Oh yeah, we, we read that. Never mind. We we did we did read everything he said. <laughs> I I was I was lying uh, unintentionally lying. <laughs> oh, it's pear flavored. Nice. Is that the mayor? Ah, welcome, traveler. I'm the mayor, and you stand in Hoshi Village, a peaceful little village where every inhabitant works hard every day. To produce our famous ho cheese. I've heard from my guards about your exploits in the forest, clearing out the menacing slimes all by yourself. Impressive. So that's why they, they kind of look like mice, so it makes sense that they make cheese. <laughs> I'd give you a tour of the village. However, there is a pressing matter I hope you can help with. You see, despite my warnings, a villager went to the beach and has yet to return. You're capable and brave. Would you be willing to go there and look for him? It's too dangerous sending the guards there. But you seem strong enough to face the perils of that place. Sure. Splendid. Hero, your courage will not go unrewarded. The uh, villagers and I will be eagerly awaiting news of your uh, of of our lost residence. Wait, I will unlock the door that goes to the Lone Beach. I mean, we kind of need it to be unlocked. <laughs> there, the door to the beach is now open. Thank you, to, uh, thank you, but be careful. It's a dangerous place. Uh, it's like filled with the uh, pear ice cream, and there's like a thing on top and below. Hmm. I'm not sure what it is then. This is, you think, new flavor for this type of thing, at least for what you have seen. And there's not really lots of pear-flavored ice cream, and that's also lactose-free. Good. I love uh, pear in general. Anything pear-flavored. It's a highly underrated fruit, in my opinion. But it needs to be... We actually talked about this in <laughs> a Vox stream yesterday about... Like, but it depends on the uh, the the texture because I don't I don't like the mushy ones. You know, if you bite it and it just gets all all. Mm. It needs to be crunchy. It needs to be crunchy pear. Welcome. Talk with the vendor. Uh, no one in this village has enough money to purchase anything for my shop. All they do is sleep all day and spend all of their souls on ho cheese. Uh, ho cheese. Let's see what you have then. Look at small life mask. Look at small stamina mask. Look at merchant's mask. Look at Narcissio's portrait. Wait. You certainly got an eye for the exquisite. The last portrait of Narcissio. I've snagged it away from a feisty Hoshi. Legally, of course. Hmm. A unique relic mask, subtly enhancing vitality, small in effect, yet it could be the edge you need. Uh, I just want to see what they all say. Ah, this isn't a measly mask, it's a relic mask that amplifies one's stamina to its peak. I mean, I can't afford any of them anyway, but I just want to see. Oh, this relic mask is fabulous. Just like me. While wearing it, you will have a chance to earn more souls. Okay. Yeah, I'm too, too poor for this. You wish you could eat more in apples? Like the, 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 the fruit, the fruit mode? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean the fruit mode? <laughs> 
can go in their house. Wait, it's not a house. Blacksmith. Hello, traveler. Ah, see this blue mask I'm working on? Um, it's the mask of a legendary warrior clan. They were feared by all on the battlefield. They vanished centuries ago, though. Legends tell of a hero with many powerful masks who might rival them in strength. One with many masks like you. Quite the coincidence, isn't it? But back to my task. This mask is proving quite a challenge to mend. I've been toying with the idea of using a bottle of glue instead of my usual tools. I know, I know. Seems unprofessional. But I'm running out of ideas. If you bring me a bottle of glue, I'll trade you. Let's see. Something useless I have around here. <laughs> I'll trade it for this handy microphone. I don't know what it is. I tried using it as a hammer, but it just makes odd noises. So will you help me out? Sure. Oh, you want help? We don't have the glue bottle. If you find one, bring it here, okay? And don't forget, I've got a microphone for you in return. I don't know what the microphone is supposed to do, though. Thank you for the water, Redeem. Like when the flavor is in the fruit mode. Wait, are you talking about when... Well, seeing as it's supposed to be similar to Zelda, I suppose smashing jars is just... appropriate, you know? <laughs> hey, it's an elevator! <gasps> it's a chest. Are you talking about flavor being that it tastes like actual fruit and not like a uh, like um? Yeah. Ow! Wait, that. Okay. I took fall damage. Like the fruit itself, you don't know why I was thinking so. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't sure what you meant, so I was like. I was trying to really think of what you meant there. Huh? What? I'm overseeing the work, of course. Making sure everything's in order and all that. After all, somebody needs to be slack. I mean, making sure everything is done safely. True, true. Is that cheese? That doesn't seem very sanitary. I think you guys need a, a jar for that. I'm trying to fix this engine. Nothing is working. It is dripping. I don't think it's screwed in properly. Okay, let's see if we can... The dark forest is a scary place, Traveler. You would have to be very brave to even think about exploring such a gloomy place. Especially when it's under the rule of that toad. A toad? We have to fight a toad? The fruit mode was sending <laughs> Orion does have their way with words, you know? I mean that in the best way, by the way. Mayor house. That's a lot of text for saying just mayor house. <laughs> sure. What do you mean? I think you're funny, Ryan. It's spinning well. Everything seems to work today. You're an outsider, aren't you? Do you know that we use the energy from this crystal loop to power all the machines in our village? That is also the secret to cooking the best how cheese. Uh, how cheese, by the way. Ho cheese all year long. How cheese. Very well, thank you. I'm watching you, Traveler. Okay, good to know. Ugh, I'm so frustrated. Just leave me be. Every time I face off against Annika, the mayor's son, I lose. Ugh, it's so infuriating. But hey, if you're looking to challenge him, he's training in the house right behind me. <laughs> well, we can give it a go. Maybe. Not super confident in my skills here. 
Hey, Waiko. Look, that door is all locked up. And the Hoshi by the well, he's acting all weird, isn't he? Yeah, he definitely looks suspicious. I think we should have a little chat with him. Didn't I just have a chat with him, though? Let's go. Dude, I just talked to him. Wait, it was him, wasn't it? Yeah. Heh, <laughs> yep, I've locked Anika inside his house. He's trapped and won't be able to leave. He can't beat anyone if he's locked in his house. <laughs> what? You want to free him? Why? Do you want to fight him? <sighs> Fine. Unlock the door, but only if you bring me 100 souls. I don't have that much so I don't... I'm, I'm poor. Well, um, that didn't, that didn't give me any more money. Well, I guess we can't do everything in this village right away. Maybe we should move. Oh, 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 oh look at that. It's a pig. <gasps> I can pick it up. <laughs> look at it. I have it on my head. <laughs> Wait, I'm supposed to throw him? But th that's sad. He's so cute. Why? I guess that's what I'm supposed to do, but I don't like that. No, wait, what? Oh, it's only if I go up here, maybe? Okay, never mind. It reminds you of a squishy plushie. <laughs> it's so adorable. And it comes right to me. It's like it's following me around. Who wants to be my friend? I feel bad about throwing the pig. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm where I'm supposed to throw it. Game of the year. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to throw it at him because he's kind of kind of mean. Oh, well, that didn't do anything. Hey. Game of the year. <laughs> oh, a traveler. What is it like out there? You see a peaceful Hoshi village today, but many years ago, it was a very different place. There have been tales of the village being under the rule of a nefarious Hoshi named Narcissio, the chief of the rebels. Narcissio's ego was boundless and he ruled with an iron fist, using fear as his weapon. This mad ruler's dearest companion was his reflection. Makes sense with that name. Those times were dark, and though he's gone, the memories of his rule still linger yet. Hmm. Did you visit our neighbor upstairs? I'd stay away from him if I were you. Rumor has it he still harbors admiration for Narcissio. Can you believe it? They say he yearns for the days when that crazy rebel chief used to rule our village. We are living in peace and with full prosperity. I find it hard to believe there is still someone who wants to live in terror and fear. This must be why he locked himself away. He doesn't want to face anyone. Hmm. Speaking of plushies, you found an animal sanctuary who sells Highland cow plushies. Oh, that's adorable. You so want one. It supports their work, which is good, but they're so darn cute and fluffy. Can you show me pictures? I want to see. <laughs> I like to think that the piggy is squishy so it doesn't get hurt. Mm. Yeah, extra padding. The piggy has extra padding, so it's like, it's just... Good point. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of it in that way too. Okay. I don't know what, how I'm supposed to, what I'm supposed to do with it. And he's staring menacingly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on. Um, 
The farmer you think did say the pigs are indeed squishy? Mm. Made a clip of for the first time in your life. Did it work? Is it published? <laughs> oh, you did. You did. Aw. I'm proud of you, Marty. You did, you did the thing. Thank you. <laughs> You'll know that better. Well, I mean, uh, there is a way that you can see clips in other people's channel. Because Orion, Orion has... I don't know how you do it, though. Because I don't know if I've ever looked up clips by other people before. Grab the link and post it in chat if you want. Marty and the Clips channel in Discord. Mm. You see if you can find the link. Only follow them on Insta, so that's where you saw them. Mm. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Look, it's so adorable. Hold on. Let me see. <gasps> it is cute. Aw, and it's smiling. Well, I mean, with the eyes, at least. Adopt a Highland cow. That's adorable. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Highland cow, like, calf? That's so cute. Pro Twitcher, you did it, Marty. You did it. I'm proud of you. What do you mean you can't see other people's clips? There's also you don't think it's possible to delete clips you... Hmm. No, I mean you you can uh, you can see other people's clips, but I haven't like looked for it, I guess. Oh, we can we can open the door and fight the dude now if you want to. Should we should we do that? Sure. I love doing business with you, little green. Hmm. Take home part of Scotland that isn't actually Scottish. <laughs> so you agree. You agree, Chris. There's a page you can see clips that are made. You don't know if they're setting to set them on private or something. I don't think you can private clips at all. You cheat yourself so much, you're in much credit content, but don't worry, you're the best at convincing yourself to spend more money. Oh no. It's where you can see past lives and videos or clips and all those. There's like a scroll menu. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, that makes sense. You can definitely delete clips you made for other people's channels. You did it for a few channels. Yeah, I, I have also deleted a bunch of clips that I made in other people's channels. Um... If I use it to to go back and see if I missed some something a person said that I wanted to hear, and then sometimes I just make a clip to to hear what they said. So it is definitely possible. But I think it's easier for people who also stream because you get to see the list of clips because you go into stream manager and stuff. Uh, and I feel like a lot of people don't do that unless they stream. Um, you can choose to show best seven days or week or all of them. Mm. You heard the fact from some un uh, from some educated sources, so it must be true. <laughs> Hey, you always gotta gotta double check your sources because you know can't always trust uh, all of them. <laughs> Sometimes you click it on accident a couple of times. The thing you wanted to clip wasn't in the time frame. Mm. Yeah, the there is a way to do it. Ah, a visitor. I've been cooped up training in here for so long. What? Locked door? You do realize you can just open it from the inside, right? And I could have just climbed out of the window, but training just seemed more productive. Well, how about sparring with me as a reward for freeing me? I'm sure I can teach you a thing or two. Sure. Ha, huh, great. Let's see what you got.
So is this gonna be like a tutorial thing then? Ow, what? But I used the, used the thing. What? But I put up the shield. This takes a long time. It didn't take this long with the other ones. <laughs> Keep for forgetting to put up the shield. What? I, I didn't even know I was that close. This is just tedious, though. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get the stamina mask, I think. found the video manager. Nice. Do not ask me to educate myself things. <laughs> Fine, I won't. I won't. Okay, so you can just come back here to replenish everything? Um, It'll just slide off the smooth brain? That's not true. If you, if you call yourself dumb, you, you're calling me dumb. Didn't realize that was a thing for other channels, uh, made clips as well. If only you could try to remember to delete all your accidental clips. It's okay, right? Um, wish it was easier to search for certain clips though. Mm. Or like specific games at least. Yeah, I, I wish that too, because it... I wish you could search for a specific category um, in certain channels and stuff. There are many things on Twitch that could still do with improving. Mm. These dummies are sturdy. They they are. I think they're just for practice though against this dude. I had to go through um, and do this too because Twitch loves to make a random 30 second clip when you accidentally click the clip button instead of the settings button. Yeah, it will make a clip no matter what, as long as you clip on the, click on the clip button. Um, a lot of people don't know that, but it, 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 it does. You're going to go and have dinner, but are you lurking me a lot? Hope you enjoy the game and have a nice stream. Thank you so much, Rian, and thank you so much for the raid as well. I hope you have a wonderful dinner and rest of your evening, and I appreciate you stopping by and, and lurking and chatting. And Yeah, I appreciate you. Go check out Rian. I'm already. Can't insult the high mind. It's true. It's true. We tadpoled. <laughs> we tadpoled. <laughs> um. Oh. Ow. It was just 
standing there. What? I put up the shield? Yes. What? Oh, fine. <laughs> it wasn't exactly challenging. Whoa. Ooh, you're something else, Traveler. That was a fierce battle. I must admit, I've never faced an opponent quite like you. Well, that's embarrassing for you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you nearly killed me there. You know what? I'll give you this relic mask for such fierce fighting. Here, inside this chest is a relic mask. I'm certain it will serve someone like you well. Well, I do like some loot. Momentum mask. This mask uh, of a cunning fox <gasps> makes its wearer sprint faster. How many masks can I equip at the same time? Only one? Probably. Oh! Oh, no, no, I can wear- Oh! Oh, it's a different- Oh, yeah, because the, sh uh, the mask that I have on is just- uh, It's just a shield. So it's kind of like charms, then. I could have more than one. Oh. So, looking to return to Hoshi Village? I can take you back all my- uh, I can take you back myself, or if you prefer, you can use the big Toro in the other room to teleport out of here. The choice is yours. I want to go where I was before, but I want to... Get all my stuff. As in, get things replenished. Um, yeah, because I don't want to go all the way over over here. If he can take me closer to where I was, then that would be better. Oh. Yeah. After Tusta is on my desk, I always end up with cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> Let's see if he has something to say now. Aha, with all these souls, I can purchase new masks and finally wipe that smug expression off of Annika's face. I can sprint faster now. You see how, how fast I can go? Wait, did I talk to you before? Yeah, I did. Never mind. I did. What is this? <laughs> I, I do. I do like that clip. <laughs> Speaking of smooth brain, Chris, that's 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 smooth brain. That clip right there. gonna add this one because I would like to have more stamina thank you Ryan okay let's see where should we go because I, th I think we have well we haven't bought uh, we haven't been in here oh it's a cheese shop oh look at all that cheese <gasps> wait your, your ears clipping through the table, sir. I think you've had a little too much cheese. And also Those who seek danger over cheese don't tend to live as long. <laughs> All right. Those 
I need to make that clip a little bit shorter because it starts playing. <laughs> It starts playing all over again. Thank you so much, though, for the 30 bits, Orion. Though, yeah, though. <laughs> Is he just sniffing his own helmets? I think so. Uh -uh. Ugh, that last ho cheese was one too many. Yeah, I did say that you had had too many. Right. Cheers, little green, to your health. Thank you. Appreciate it. A hero. It is said that there are priceless treasures on the lone beach. A shame I would never set foot on the foot there myself. Hey. Never say never. Okay. Hello, little green. Have you had a chance to explore our lovely village yet? I have. It's such a peaceful place, but you know what I love even more than the tranquility? Eggs. Could you bring me three eggs? I promise a delicious reward in return. <gasps> I have one egg. Seems like you're still short on eggs. You currently have one. <laughs> one. Don't give up. Those eggs are waiting out there for you. And so does my stomach. I can give you eggs. Um. But the though, uh, though at the end is funny, yeah. <laughs> uh. Hey, Shane, how you doing? Uh -uh. Stay out of trouble, traveler. I'm always alert. And don't uh -uh. let me catch you over indulging in hoochies under my watch. Hey, I will do what I want. Uh. Hmm. Are you good? I'm glad. Uh -uh. Oh, it's the same uh -uh. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Traveler, this path leads to the dark forest. But be advised, the door is sealed for the safety of our villagers. Uh -uh. It will remain closed until the missing Hoshi is found and the area is deemed safe again. <gasps> missing Hoshi? Oh, yeah. I, I was like, ho uh, I was thinking Hoshis. I was like... We don't care about missing villagers, but missing cheese? Can't have any of that. Oh, I, I missed this one. <laughs> I missed this statue. Okay, should we... I still don't- <gasps> Wait, 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 wait. What if I- what if I need to bring the- the pig? To the pen. The pig pen. The piggy pen. Maybe that's what I need to do. I'm not supposed to throw it at something. I'm supposed to bring it back home. Maybe. The door is sealed. Is sealed door. Is sealed door. <laughs> Cast a ring into the fire. Find some other clips while looking as well. Mm. Yeah. <gasps> it's home! I think. Remember, just bring back three of those round fluffy creatures to their home. My legs aren't what they used to- Okay, okay, so I need to- I need to throw it in here? Oh, okay. Okay, I get, I got it, I got it. Did you ever reschedule the date with that one dragon? Uh, I guess I didn't, but we, 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 that that could happen in in this playthrough. You know, it could it could happen. <gasps> there is a. I was like, what is? What? I take damage from that. That's so annoying. Am I not supposed to be able to jump over here? Oh, I am. 
I was just... Okay, we're gonna fi find all the pigs. I said it had other date with different dragon. Oh, I did. I thought it was just the one dragon. <laughs> Okay, let's go in here. Maybe there's one here. Hey, it's been a while, okay? I can't remember everything. <laughs> Which dragon? Uh, it was one in Faramazu Azula. We need to find the the last the last pig. It has Elden Ring spoilers. <laughs> what if I just jump over here? Is that possible? I mean, I, I don't want to go there just yet anyway. But I just I'm just saying, maybe. It was not that dragon. You don't think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't I don't know where the the other last pig is. I couldn't go in here, could I? No. Let's see if we can find the a pig running loose here. <gasps> There's an egg? I probably need some uh, some sort of kite thing to get up there. Hey, piggy, piggy, what are you? You know what? Let's just go to the place where we, um... Where we're supposed to go and find the missing person. We can do that! Uh... Norwegian? Wait, what is that clip? I don't even remember half of the clips that I have. Uh... Oh, it's a vep noise. <laughs> <laughs> the lone beach. Beware, traveler. You approach an abandoned beach shrouded in mystery and fear. Legends whisper of, st uh, of stone giants who once dwelled, dwelled here in harmony. Guarding great treasures, but you'll be lucky to find more than ghouls and slimes here now. I'm having so much trouble reading today. What is this? It looks angry. Uh, there was an enemy that surprised me in Farm Azula. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello again, Waco. You found your equipment, I see. And now we meet again at this lovely beach. Just as promised, I have another extra charge for your potion. <gasps> Thank you. I'm always here to help you on your adventure, remember? Oh, no? 
Oh well. I hope this will help you in your travels. Thank you. I appreciate it. Gonna go watch some anime before bed, but it was lovely to see you and hang out for a bit. Have a lovely Mr. Stream. Thank uh, talk soon. Thank you so much for being here, Sarah. I hope you have a good That is a big slime. Oh, it's a big dude. Is, is that a golem or something? Thank you so much for hanging out, Sarah. I hope, I hope you 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 have a good rest of your night. And I also hope that it won't be too long until we talk again. The tiny man dare you. <laughs> Kill that one. There we go. <laughs> I'm just getting you to kill the other one for me. doesn't do anything it's just tanky oh well I guess that's what happened too that's fine So many quotes about the tiny man. <laughs> well, aren't they just two? No, three. I guess I guess three quotes. <laughs> the die one is new though. <laughs> but the big die oh no. Yeah. 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 yeah, there are a lot of a lot of quotes about the tiny man. It's not just one of these big, big dudes. So I'm guessing that I'm supposed to be able to use the... Yeah. Maybe not. I thought I would, would be able to use the boat to get over on the other side, but... Yeah. Yeah. So I take it this is a boss. Or can I talk to him? Because there's like a... S oh, hello, little green thing. You know, this beach used to be a peaceful haven. So serene that even the sea deemed uh, seemed to whisper its secrets to the sands. How things have changed. You see, green old little thing. My twin, Ragorus, has fallen into a madness I can't explain. He's become a threat to himself and others. I've had no choice but to lock him in that tower on the island behind me. I've not much hope, but if a green little thing like yourself wants to help, know that trust isn't given freely these days. So first, a task to prove your intents, if you are willing. My ancestors' souls are trapped in their petrified forms across this beach. You cannot save them. Their souls, however, can yet be freed. An old mask with the power to do so is hidden here, somewhere on this beach. Retrieve it and use its power to liberate my kin. Then you'll have earned my trust. Only then will I open the way to the island where Rugborus now resides. I do not wish for anyone to be hurt needlessly. Okay, I will find your, your mask and, and do the thing. God damn it, I wanted to throw it at this thing. Yeah, 
Yes. Why are you not doing anything? What is that? I mean, I know this is probably where we need to use the mask, but... A whisper of freedom stirs my soul. Has the silence finally been broken? Interact with the symbol. Search for the missing harmony, the relic mask that echoes my own mark. My salvation rests upon its retrieval. That's what I thought. Hey, bearded, bearded turtle, how you doing? Did you play another Crab's Treasure? I did not. I have not. Um, I wanted to play it, but then I saw other people play it, and I was like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with not playing it. What? Hmm. I wonder what that light does. Um, but have you played it? I was just wondering how it might compare to, um, how would you say this game is so far? I think it looks adorable. I like it. It look, it kind of feels like, um... I mean, it probably has some similarities. Um... But this one also has some similarities to Zelda as well. But yeah, it is it is pretty cute. I I am liking it so far. Yeah. <gasps> See, this is why I keep uh, looking in 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 these little nooks. Slip into their butts. <laughs> yeah. God uh, oh, damn it! There's so many embarrassing clips. Yeah. I wonder where this mask is, though. Yeah. I wonder where it is. Damn, I can't believe I've been live for three hours already. It doesn't feel like it at all. <laughs> yeah. It seems that there is a secret linked to these stones. Maybe we should look at the little stones, too. I mean, I have looked at the little stones, too. Yeah, well, one of them. <laughs> Ow, wow. Have you not heard about, you know, one at a time? Okay, let's kill the last one. Okay. 
there we go. Hmm. <gasps> There's a door. That is a door. Is that where I need to... Get the, uh, the thing. The mask. took forever to do anything. That should be all of them. Maybe. Hmm. I wonder what I need to open those, because that's the second time I've seen something blocking my way with whatever this is. Whatever that is. Gotta go fast. Yeah, getting the stamina one was definitely a good idea because my stamina is terrible. I get a feeling that you don't actually leave the area, it's just a different area within this area. There's sadness in this room. Can you feel it, Waco? I'd cry, but I can't risk rusting my armor. The relic mask, the one Serenus the Golem told us about, must be here. Let's go, Waco. supposed to do with that, but... Cloud Sanctuary. This majestic statue stands as a timeless guardian, radiating, radi radiating peace. It honors a cherished friendship, reminding all who pass by. Treasure your friends, for time is fleeting. It's true. It is true. Help. Everything is upside down. I can't see, but my friends are my eyes. Don't forget that everything is always in the eyes. Oh, I see. I, I wasn't paying attention to the eyes at all. I did it! Easy. Calcerous... Calcerous Mask grants the wearer the ability to free the souls of petrified golems. It also slightly improves the wearer's health. Okay. Oh, well, he gave me 20 more, I think. So that's good. Um... Bought a green rug that fits perfectly under your desk and makes a nice box for your gaming space. And you got groceries today, so all good vibes. Oh, that's good. That, is, that sounds good. 
So we're getting an ad now. Um, any second. And I'm going to take a quick break because I haven't taken a break yet. So I'll be right back. I won't do anything in the game. Don't worry, because I will take a break. You guys take a break too. Do what you need to do. You know? I'll see you in a bit. I will see you in a bit.
Okay, we're back. We're back. <laughs> okay, let's see. It was so quiet. <laughs> Surprise. We have the thing we need. We have the thing we need. I don't like that it has like leave area in just a room in the same area because you're not actually leaving the area, you're just entering a room. And that kind of confuses things a, a, a little bit. Well, that, that makes things a little bit confusing because you don't actually know if you're leaving the area or not. A whisper of freedom stirs my soul. Has the silence finally been broken? The corporeal remaining of a liberated soul of a golem, being petrified for centuries, must give you terribly stiff neck. You would think so. Ah, gratitude fills my being. Thank you, traveler. Now pardon me as I savor this newfound stillness. Being free is a wearying affair. Be free, little golem. The music is kind of nice in the game. It is really nice. It's pretty nice and chill. I do also like it. Can't wait to move into a house and have an entire room dedicated for gaming board games. Nice. Okay, so they they say the same thing. They all say the same things. So this one will probably be opened. Well, but how many little stones are there? Because I found two. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how are you liking the game so far? I'm enjoying it. That is pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I mean, we haven't had a single boss yet, so I, I'm curious to see how that will go. Because a lot of games have ended up being uh, fun. And then... Boss fights have kind of just ruined the entire game for me. <laughs> um, and no, this is not Souls type of stuff necessarily. Um, there is one specific game that that happened to me with that I I absolutely really loved the game, but then I got to the first boss, and it was just terrible. <laughs> And that was a pepper grinder. I played the demo, so I already knew that I wanted to play the game, like the full game, and then I bought it. And the first boss show up after the part where the demo is. And then when I got to that part, I was like, nope. This, this doesn't work. I even looked up videos and guides and tried to do it, but it was just... I don't know if it was a bug or if it was just terrible controls or whatever. I could not do it. Even when I looked up what you were supposed to do, I couldn't do any damage to the boss at all. And I did everything right. 
followed all the, the instructions and everything, I just refunded the game. <laughs> Uh, that was such a shame. Yeah, it was it was a really good game. Like, besides that boss fight. But I don't know, because people said that it was super easy for them, even on the first try. So I'm, I'm just wondering if it was my game that was bugged, because... To be fair, the boss was also a bug, so... I just really wanted to make a pun, but I couldn't really think of anything. <laughs> but it was... It just di didn't work as it was supposed to. And it sucked because the rest of the game was really fun. Or the part that I got to, at least. Ah, you returned, and I sense the souls of my ancestors, finally liberated from their stone, uh, stone prisons. Thank you, Traveler. You have done well, and you have earned my trust. Perhaps now we can focus on the issue troubling my twin, Rigorus. Perhaps with your resourcefulness, you can find a way to help him. Are you prepared for a challenge? Sure. Excellent. I sense great bravery in you, Traveler. I will create a teleportation mark for you. It will take you straight to the island where my brother is imprisoned. Once there, tread carefully, Lemurim. My twin is not himself. You may have to face him in combat. Your ultimate task is to discover what has driven him to madness. Please, do not hurt him. He is a gentle soul at heart. All of us are. Okay, so does that mean that you can... This is just a rhetorical question, by the way. Um, that you can choose to fight him or not? Because you're not actually supposed to? It would be cool if you could make the choice, though. How you want to deal with the... With the boss. Or the person. The golem. Puns, just getting hitting puns is for babies. I agree. I agree. It is for babies. Only babies hate puns. <laughs> uh, I can't lock on to this one, so I assume I can talk to you. Yeah. Hello, soft stone. You must be the one Uncle Serena sent to help Uncle Rigorus. But Rigorus isn't the only one who needs help. Many of us golem friends are petrified and scattered across different lands. If Serenus trusts you, then so do I. Look at the little one in the back, he looks cute. <laughs> you already saved some of our ancestors by the beach. Your quest to save the remaining golems around the world is of great importance. You have freed a total of three. There are a total of seven that need saving. If you succeed, I promise to give you the treasured ha heirloom of our golem fam family. I'm sure Uncle Serena's wouldn't mind. Actually, they're both cute. They're both cute. Look at them. Look at the little dudes. Um, Pun haters has been tied for 920 bookings. What about Spyro? Wait, what do you mean Spyro? What about Spyro? Oh, you're not made of stone. Are you fragile? Look at that. They have such cute eyes. Have you noticed? Have you noticed that any character, like, if any character is made, like, or drawn or something, and they have round eyes and very far apart and nothing else, it's just. A perfect recipe for a cute face, <laughs> even, if the, even if that is the only part of the face, you know? Have you ever noticed that? And they always need to be, like, very far apart as well. Like, wide set eyes. It just, it just works. It just works. You look different. Where are your rocks? I don't have any rocks. You can't connect it anymore? Agreed? Mm. I've thought about it before, but it's just- it just... always works. <laughs> I 
We have another one of these. I hope that was the last one we needed before we could activate the big one. See, like, this character... Like, he's cute, but he's not as cute as the golems because he doesn't have the wide set eyes. I can't use that still. Shock and corruption? No, thank you. Maybe some other time. <laughs> I don't even remember saying that. <laughs> I don't think I need to save. Uh, do you picture like other face features or only with the eyes uh, for the thing to be, like you said? Yeah, see, like with these, they don't need any other features. They only have the eyes. They don't have mouths or noses or anything. Just the eyes. And then the, the head or face shape can be whatever. It's just as long as the eyes are placed correctly and shaped correctly, it will be cute, you know? You wish there was like a cozy game for you to play casually, but I don't really know if that's possible for you. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a cozy game that you could play casually. You feel monstrous and uh, presence behind this door. Do you want to enter? Yeah. So any shape and body thing, but just the eyes far apart. Yeah. And round. Well, that's rude. I just want to see if it worked to just use shield, but I, I guess I have to... What? So I take damage from that? I can't use a shield at all? Well, how was I supposed to know that would happen? we have to do with the the souls way then I can't do any damage to him oh oh I have to make sure that he does damage to himself can do damage to him, I guess.
on Lonely Beach, Weka and Oz encountered numerous small creatures, battling their way toward an enigmatic and ancient tower. With Oz at his side, Weko reached the tower's imposing entrance, the gateway to their first true challenge. Inside, a formidable confrontation awaited with Ragarus, the stone golem, who was bound by the influence of the primordial Mask of Wrath. In an epic battle, Weko triumphed over Ragarus, securing the primordial mask and releasing the golem from the spells that had long shackled him. So it was the mask all along. Didn't they say that each mask was like a symbol of, uh, like a sin? I wonder which this one is. Maybe like wrath. I don't know. Thank you for the GG. <laughs> a traveler. My mind is clear now. The fog of rage that clouded my thoughts. It is gone now. Someone, a long time ago, gifted me this mask, assuring me that it would calm my anger. But instead, it consumed me, transforming my very being. Wearing it, became I became anger incarnate. Its power is too great and too dangerous for me. I dare not touch it again. But if you are strong enough to resist its pull, then take it. It will surely be safer with you than me. I might get tempted to wear that mask again. I owe you a great debt for freeing me, little hero. The anger I felt was strong and, in, and uncontrollable. Your deed is worthy of granting you access to your family's vault. Our vault is filled uh, with treasures and a hoshi I had trapped out of sheer anger. Please return him to his village where he belongs. I doubt he will be happy seeing me once more. Oh, I seem to recall that this is a primordial mask, Waco. These masks are different. You're not meant to wear them. They're ancient, powerful, and steeped in mystery. We should keep it safely in our bag for now. We need to figure out how to handle these masks properly. Maybe finding more of these masks will hold the key of destroying them. But until then, let's treat them with caution. E. Um... You're not up to the challenge? Wait, what, what, what challenge? <gasps> Obtain the primordial wrath mask. So I was right, it was wrath. <laughs> Even before I talked to him, <laughs> where I said it was rage. Um, A powerful and ancient mask that makes you angry just looking at it. Well, let's just try not looking at it then. Hey, two stuff. Traveler, I feel like okay, okay. Uh, okay. Wait, was this where I came from? Yeah. Oh, drawing the thing. Oh, I see, I see. How's the game going? It's going pretty good. We just beat the first boss on the first try. <laughs> She's cuddling with the mic now. Is there a way for me to use this, or do I just not have what I need? Does that mean that I have to come back to every single area that has those? So it is technically a Metroidvania then. <laughs> Grab mask. This bug-like mask allows its user to glide, granting access to hard-to-reach places. Okay, that's that answers my question. Um, glider mask. You can use the glider mask by pressing LT. This active mask allows Waco to glide through the air. Use air currents to reach even greater heights with it. Ow! That I do. I take damage from doing that. It's insane. It's it's basically Zelda. <laughs> it's basically a, a an indie Zelda game. <laughs> yeah. 
You lack the skills to have the ability to do stuff because you can't do it if you know what you're doing. Hmm. Zelda's Souls? I mean, technically, Zelda is a huge inspiration to, to Souls games, though, from what I've heard. Oh. Oh. Terrified Hoshi, a frightened Hoshi villager, returned to the mayor to ensure his safety. I don't know. It seemed like a good thing to do. I take fall damage from nothing, so I'm just going to use this uh, glider. Uh, every time. <laughs> you can see that. I mean, there are a lot of, um, inspirations they've taken from, uh, for, uh, from other things when making Souls games that you might not think of. Unless you already know. I don't know. You find the glider mask, I see. We golems use them for shade from the sun, since our horns are sensitive to the constant beach sunlight. But I bet you'll find more exciting uses for it. It's all yours now. Good luck on your adventure, little green. Thank you, thank you. I wish you could watch some videos that would, could help you, but you don't even know what you're looking for. You mean for drawing? Okay, so we can go... ...on the other side here. Because there was a glider thing here. As well. But it all does also relate to other things, like creativity, things in general. Hmm. <gasps> It's a little dude! What is this little dude? Onibi, these strange beings do not look very smart, but they are very happy little pranksters n nonetheless. I love this little dude. I don't think that there is anything else to do here. Uh, I'm just going to replenish some stuff. A creativity, a t a creativity things in general, like in Minecraft, you also have this problem. Hmm. I kind of wish you wanted to draw right now because you want to do something so badly. <sighs> I get that. I've actually had that feeling this whole week as well because I've had ideas to make new... Um, a new offline screen and also some new... Uh, sub badges, I think, or bit badges i guess i mean i either both um but i just haven't had the i wanted to but i, I also don't want to i want to but i don't want to i want to want to if that makes sense <laughs> okay. ah the air feels lighter the curse lifted little green you've done it haven't you what? A, pri uh, a primordial mask, you say? Hmm. you done more than just help my brother, then. Hold on to that mask. It is probably better off with you. Okay, let's go to... Uh, the statue. Or, like, the... Um, the rock over here. You don't know what, uh, when though you do have tons of ideas, but you can't do any of those if you don't see them. Hmm. 
Yeah, but I've looked for the little stones too. How how many more are there? Yeah. I've activated them all. I don't know what you want. You don't have a hyperfixation thing going on right now either, even though that can also not be the best thing, but right now it feels like it would be nice for them being bored. Mm. Yeah, I, um... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, that didn't do anything. <laughs> that didn't do anything. That's weird though, because I have looked everywhere on this, uh, in this area. And I found three of those smaller shrines or rocks or whatever they are. And it seems like I can't... ...activate this one until I've activated all the small ones, but... Sometimes you need a little perspective. I just want to see if I could go this way instead of swimming across because it doesn't seem like I can swim very far before it's too much. And I don't want to die. <laughs> you see, it's like, it's very risky. <laughs> I'm rich! Um, you do have the Elden Ring DLC thing going, but it's scary and intimidating right now. And sometimes you just want something... A little more chill, I, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Get air loose HP. Mm. <laughs> uh, it's funny because I know that this is a very unpopular opinion. I've tried to play near Automata twice. It never seems to grab me, but I really want to play near Replicant, and I was really close to buying it when it was on sale recently, but then it went off sale when I was thinking about it, and it just didn't happen. <laughs> okay, so you, there's a chest over here as well, but there's no way that I can get here without drowning first. I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to do that. There was also a rich clip or something. I... That does sound familiar. I don't know if it was a clip or a quote, though. The Sly Cooper is nice and casual, but it's over soon. Hmm. Do you think a game like this... Like, this type of game would be something you could be interested in, because it is pretty chill. 
It is pretty chill. Yeah. You do have some new or new for you games you have not played before, but some you can play until you finish Elden Ring, like Sekiro. Mm. And some you just don't have the interest really to play, even though you kind of want to play them. It happens to me as well all the time. Oh, there was one here! Jesus Christ. Okay, so this does not give me... Um, Was worth it though <laughs> it's fine <laughs> i didn't see that one i missed i missed that one completely okay so that one didn't do anything <gasps> i'm even richer I can't believe I had exactly 500, and then I got exactly 100. So now I have 600. I don't, I don't, I don't have time to play with you guys right now. Let's leave. I'm tempted to just go out this way so I can find the other things um, on the way back. You got Undertale vibes, but could be off. Um. I mean, it could be. Could be you want to play some Undertale. This doesn't really interest you besides seeing me play it. That's fair. That is fail. The music is nice. Yeah. It is pretty nice. You want to play like challenges, but you can't really make them yourself, so it's. Hmm. I wish I could help you, Ryan, but on only you know how how to find a game, I guess. Is that the souls uh, currency thing you got from the chest? Yeah, I don't I don't know how it works in this game though. So they mentioned something about behind the waterfall. I just don't want to die. But I guess this works. <gasps> Maybe this is where I find the egg. Yeah, there is a <laughs> There was an egg. We got all the eggs. Stardew Valley, for example, would be nice to have a challenge or goal besides the like perfection. Also, Minecraft would be casual, but you don't have the thing to play that right now either. So this was supposed to be one of those save points. Interact. This place, it feels ancient. There's a profound energy here, but I think it's inactive at the moment. I guess if there's a way to like place this over here, maybe that's something we should do at some point. Maybe, maybe. You see, this is how you're supposed to do it. Whenever there's a waterfall, there's always supposed to be something behind it. Mm. 
That looks like a cowboy hat. Is that a cowboy hat? <laughs> mm. Is that the mayor? No, oh, he has he has a mustache. Did you go back to the animal well to do stuff? I actually didn't, but I've been I've been wanting to. But it's been when I know that I need to have a guide going into something. It gets really difficult for me to do it. <laughs> because there's no way that I can continue with the game before I... Like, w without getting a... Like, looking at a guide. So I haven't. But I want to, though. I don't know why I went all the way back here, but it's fine. Yeah. You bought a fan today and went to this recently new shop place, but you didn't set it up yet in the living room? Mm. That's what are you saying? Make a game and put a waterfall in it and there's there's nothing behind it? Literally, I'm, I, I, right? It needs to be, there needs to be something fun behind it. Hey. Hello, little green. Have you had a chance to explore our lovely village? Yeah, we talked to you before. I'm here with eggs. Marvelous, you gathered all the eggs. They look absolutely scrumptious. Damn. I I could fit three of those in my backpack? That's insane. Here's a treat for the effort. Thank you, little green. Slice of ho cheese, a delectable slice. A slice of the village renowned ho cheese. It's a shame you're allergic to it. Oh no, are we lactose intolerant in this game? Imagine being lactose intolerant playing this game and like, I can't even escape reality in, in this game. <laughs> Eldering has some waterfalls and no treasures behind them, and he feels like betrayal. Hmm. Also, pet the doggos. Yeah, that is also necessary in, in games. You want to pet a dog so badly right now? Let's uh, buy this for some reason. We Maybe we can give it to the, the guy at the in the apartment. Aha! Yeah. <gasps> Maybe that's how we get the last pig. Because I couldn't find the last pig. Oh. I know now. Of course we're supposed to do something with this, and then... But how do I... How do I... Even hit it, though? I thought you didn't have any energy, but suddenly thinking about petting dogs gets you to cry now. <laughs> oh no. A skill that I will will get eventually that I can just I'm guessing as I'm supposed to give the the painting to that dude but I'm glad that you have some energy though even though you also want to cry <laughs> even though you also want to cry you know that that's that's a mood though You know how early I got up today? 
like eight or something, which is kind of insane for me. Oh, I forgot. I have the glider now. Was it this dude wanted again? Oh, he wanted oil. Oh, no, glue. No, not oil. <laughs> glue. It was, it was something liquid that wasn't edible. I mean, oil can be edible. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Huh? What? I'm overseeing the work, of course. Making sure everything in or everything is in order and all that. After all, somebody needs to be sla- Oh yeah, I talked to him. I talked to him before. Yeah, we've talked to all of these. I need to talk to the mayor, I guess. Maybe he will give me the last pig. Welcome again, traveler. Did you venture to the beach to save the villager? Yes. You found him. <laughs> we're just we're just carrying everything. <laughs> we're just randomly pulling a villager out of our pockets. Is that how it works? Loving that. That's hilarious. <laughs> because we put we didn't put him in our pocket. He just left, but suddenly he just appeared in our, our pockets. There's <laughs> no whole personality, exactly. <laughs> but goodness, you didn't have to toss him over like that. Hey. Ah, uh, you also got a Primordial mask? My own knowledge of these ancient artifacts is limited. But there is someone who may know more. Galto. He resides in the dark forest. I'll grant you access to that ominous place. He will be able to tell you more about this mask. But be very wary of Galto. He values souls more than living beings. Okay, so that's where we're heading headed next. Um, you also got up around 8, 9 today, but do you think you fell asleep on the sofa at like 12 or something? You've been falling asleep a couple of days on your sofa, living room sofa. Hmm. Yeah. I also didn't sleep in my bed. I slept on my day bed. <laughs> I feel you. Um, it's so hot in there. See, this is probably just a little room. <gasps> a whisper of freedom stirs my soul. Has the silence finally been broken? Yeah. Well, good thing that I didn't go here before, though, because I couldn't have done anything. Well, I mean, it didn't really matter, but... Okay, so that means that I am missing six more. Six more golems. It just bothered me because I have I have my stream manager open and I was tagged before and uh, and it showed up in in the tab and I just needed to get it away <laughs> oh yeah but there was also a, a balloon up here that I could use the um glider for that we can do <gasps> it's a burb oh 
Oh, you managed to get up here. Good job. I'm the renowned balloon pilot, master of the skies. Nothing beats the feeling of soaring high above the clouds. I don't usually fly people to Draco Peaks. It's a dangerous place, but I think you might be able to handle it since you made it your way up here. Want to go there? Sure. All right, let's go. I'm probably supposed to go to the, the forest first, but you know. Uh... <gasps> it's a panda! Where the fuck is Panda? <gasps> it's a flying blob! Whoa, Waco! Draco, uh, Draco, uh, Draco Peaks is breathtaking. We're so high it feels like another world. The view is stunning, but we got some exploring to do. Who knows, we might stumble upon some interesting objects useful for our adventure ahead. Let's go, Waco. Let's-a go. I like the music here, too. It is nice. pet you look at those flying with ears or wings nature's got a weird sense of style <gasps> so cute so cute <gasps> arrive <gasps> thank you for gifting the sub ryan to <laughs> where's panda bro <laughs> Sellers. Hold on. I don't know. I just had to close the window because I smelled perfume, which is kind of weird because that means that someone must have. What? Near my window, which is weird because, like, I have a really good sense of smell, but. It shouldn't be that good. You know? So I kind of got creeped out. I needed to close my window. <laughs> uh, ah, little green hero. I've heard of you. Welcome to Draco Peaks. The haven for the strange flying animals you see here. Tales say they have soared these skies ever since the Allegory War. But now, a shadow looms over this region as ghouls threaten the survival of these mysterious creatures and their eggs. And so I'm here, but I can't fly. How am I supposed to rescue these majestic balls of fluff? Hmm, but that glider of yours, you might be able to help me. I bet you can use your glider and the air currents to get around here. Say, will you gather the few remaining red eggs around here? I've spotted five of them. If you're bringing them to me, I'll take good care of them and make sure they're safe. Sure, I'll help. So far, you have a total of zero. Keep searching on the floating islands and bring the five red eggs to me, little green. I'll take care of them. Good, good, good. Uh, there's many types of smell, like smoking uh, inside, and it sucks. Sometimes, sometimes it gives you a headache. Same. I hate it too. What is this? Yeah, it could have just been my neighbor that walked past, but at the same time, if you have that much, um, because he's an asshole and he walks, he like he he walks across my lawn. To get to his apartment, which he's not supposed to, but he's an asshole, so he does it anyway. Um, so it could have just been that. But still, that is still way too much perfume to me for me to smell that through my window. Because I have a whole ass veranda between my window and the lawn. And not a small one either, by the way. 
Unless they've been going to town on putting the perfume on and they're they're actually in the next street over. <laughs> I mean, could be. <laughs> you will try to post the clips you made recently in Discord. You have not managed to do that yet. No, don't worry, Ryan. I mean, I would appreciate it if you did, but you there's absolutely no need to do it. I love these little dudes. Cute. I meant earlier there is aspects in this game that remind you of like Spyro, but there was like a specific thing you meant, but you don't remember it at all. What are you thinking? Hmm. Disc rod. <laughs> that's that's what Rod should call his Discord. It's his disc rods. Disc rod. But yeah, it does have some similarities to that as well. What? Who is shooting at me? Rude! Rude! Stop it! This one was really annoying. Are you having a staring contest with that creature? Come on, Waco. We got more important things to do. But he's cute! <gasps> it's an egg! Will you be mad if I take the egg? This large red, red egg pulsates with a peculiar energy, suggesting the imminent emergence of a winged animal. Yeah. Hmm. So this is where I came from. It says X there, so I'm not supposed to come that way. I'm supposed to go this way. Is that what they're implying? No, no, no. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I pressed the opposite of what I was supposed to. Damn. That was the first time I died, though. And it was just a stupid way to die as well. But at least I don't have to start over. Okay, so that is a very old, uh, yeah, I, I haven't, uh, I, I haven't used a death counter in, in ages. Or, like, a year, I guess, is accurate. Am I supposed to go this way? Now there's pl <laughs> plus one. Uh, I can remove it though. I just didn't know it existed. Or I, I forgot about it. Not accurate data anymore. 
That means that I died 10 times? Ah! Uh, what? Why did you let go? Okay, I guess I... That's good that I didn't have to die. Let's see what the- oh, the sign just says arrow. It didn't add any? Oh shit, we're having an ad. It, it did add an ad, at least, I guess. <laughs> so it was 11 then? Maybe. I don't- I don't know. I have no idea. It doesn't really matter, though. It's all on YouTube. That whole speedrun is on YouTube. So at least the- the truth will be there. <laughs> Fall into gravity for 41 times. That's true. It is true. This happened though. That is true. <laughs> that it did indeed happen. <laughs> um, the truth will be there. <laughs> Yeah, the music is really nice in this area as well. It's pretty chill. Pretty chill. I did say that I might switch over to a different game, but I'm kind of enjoying this now. So I, I don't feel like switching the game. And now that I know that it's not very long, it probably won't take more than maybe two or three streams or something. I don't know. I say three because, you know, I'm I'm very slow when it comes to these things, so. You know. You know. But I'm enjoying it. It's cozy. One thing that I was afraid of was because the last 3D platformer that I tried, that was also a game that was gifted to me. Um... As in, not someone bought it for me, but I was gifted a Steam key so I, to make content out of it. That was also the last time I, well, the last 3D platformer that I played was also that, but that gave me motion sickness. Um, which really sucked because I still haven't finished that game and I wanted to. And I was afraid that that would happen with this game as well, but it hasn't. This this um, has not triggered my motion sickness at all. So I'm, I'm happy about that. This does look fun. And like, it... it they do call it a Souls-like, but I... I don't feel like it's... It definitely seems more flat for me, and... I mean, technically Hollow Knight is also a platformer more so than a Souls like Well, I don't know. This seems a lot more chill, though, because it's not so combat-based so far. Uh, I, was, I was afraid that that would happen. <laughs> I was afraid that that would happen. Um... But even the music is just so chill and soothing in a way. Like, I could fall asleep to this music. Like, I would have no trouble sleeping while listening to this music at all. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, the, the, the other game that I'm talking about was the Fox game. Um, what's the name of it again? 
it was the the dev of the game actually reached out to me on Twitter and asked me to to play it, or if I want, was interested in playing it on stream, if I got a, a free copy. So obviously I wanted to. <laughs> um. But now I forgot the name. But it was a cute game though, I liked it. It just made me sick uh, because of the motion sickness that it gave me. The same thing happened with Spyro as well. <laughs> I never got to finish Spyro on stream either because that also gave me motion sickness. Fox game name. <laughs> Hold on, let me check. I mean, I do have it in my library. Um. Oh, Kit's. I, I didn't even have to check it. it. It was called Kit's Quest. What version of Spyro? I was playing the 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 remastered one. Stop it! Dude, what are you doing? I don't like that... ...puddle. Stop locking onto that shithead. I don't want to do that. Stop it! You're gonna die. I don't have any health potions left. <laughs> uh, how do I get up there? Do I just need to use one of these? Probably. Uh, you still have to play uh, Platinum the second and third of those. You have not played the originals, but on PlayStation 2, you think it was the fourth Spyro game you played as a younger? Wish they would remake that one as well. Hmm. Seeing as the fall damage is pretty ridiculous in this game, I'm just gonna <laughs> glide. Yeah, but when I got sick from from the first game, I oh that does give me a little bit of health. Good. Not a lot, but a little, a little bit. I just don't want to roll off the edge. Um, yeah, so I think I actually... It actually happened during the last boss. And there was so much running around in circles that I got so sick that I just had to stop playing. Um, so then I switched to the second game. I don't know if that would was any better, but I I 
But yeah, I was it was not a good time. Damn. The jumping is very floaty in this game. Thank you, I needed that. <laughs> Hey, so Dawn, how you doing? I feel like I haven't seen you in so long. Hope you're doing well. You played uh, the fourth Crash Bandicoot game as well, but that didn't get remade either. They made like a whole new fourth one. You have you get to finish that one. Hmm. Why I already did that, I guess. Is that a new background? I yeah. I mean, I I switched my my setup. Uh, I, I moved around a little bit. Not very far, but <laughs> I did. I did move. <gasps> Hello. We're getting more flasks. You might remember our recent meeting now, but do you recall the time we crossed paths year, years ago? No. Well, you will remember it soon. In the meantime, as usual, I will give you an extra charge for your potion. Yeah. Here, I hope it aids you on your journey. Thank you. I'm sure it will. You don't even think you finished the third remade Crash Bandicoot game? It's so freaking hard. Yeah, I... I only ever played the first one, I think. Back on PlayStation 1. What is this? Okay, this is where we Oh, it's the it's Panda. <gasps> Roy. Well, that's not Panda's name. Oh, hello adventure. What? How did I manage to get up here? Oh, I don't even want to talk about it. But if you manage to get all the way up here, surely it is to help me, isn't it? Uh, sure. Oh, here is an adventure like no other. Thank you. You take a look at this mechanism. I've come up uh, here to study it. All I can tell is that it seems to come from an ancient civilization. Perhaps even one before the Algoy War. I think it is somehow linked to these rings. Maybe we activate them all somehow, but how? Okay, so we're missing two, maybe, if I'm reading that right. Interesting. It seems that this object is supposed to give the time. Does time even pass up here? It doesn't feel like it. Hmm. Uh, because you indeed haven't been here in a while. <laughs> I also love the new setup. <laughs> a. That is fair. But I hope you've been well, though. Panda is now nicknamed Roy. Yeah, that is his new name. <gasps> I thought I needed two. Oh, adventure. You've done it. This ancient structure is active now. Maybe now I'll be able to figure out what it does. Thank you. Oh, and I suppose I should give you a small reward for helping me. Here, let me activate this teleporter for you. You'll find a chest there. Nice. A golem has taught me this spell a while ago. It has really come in handy. Yes. Sean is Sean no more. He is Roy. I want to tell you just finished Made in Abyss episode 10. You were not ready, but you love it so far. I think episode 10 is when um, the first um, well I, I don't want to I don't want to say anything <laughs> I 
I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. Um, yeah. Ugh, but isn't the music amazing? Adventure, yeah, adventure. Went from zero to hundred in like a minute. Hmm. Yeah, it really is something else. Oh shit, there's something down there. I'm gonna go down there. Look at that. I wonder how I'm supposed to get back though. <laughs> What did you say? Is that a secret? What's Panda's name? Oh, I said- I just said Sean is Sean no more. It's- it's Roy. Because that is Panda's name. Oh no! What a mess I've gotten myself into again. Don't tell me that is the same villager that I saved earlier. So do I have to die to get back up there? Probably. Yeah. I mean, I did everything. I got here. So. <clears throat> you don't want to spoil it because you don't know if anyone else wants to watch it. But yeah, you think you know what happens. Yeah. I have the... Um, uh, the Blu-rays right here. And this is non Nanachi. This is my Nanachi figurine. This is Rico. This is rag, you can't really see it that well. And this is the, 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 the Blu-ray behind them. Um... Sean? Yeah. That is, that is the name. You also typed it correctly. Ah, oh, it's you again, Little Green. Did you try retrieving the eggs? Yes. Marvelous. Yeah. With all five eggs now safe in our care, you've ensured the future of these unique creatures. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Hmm. But perhaps I can give you a worthy reward. I will give you this. This is my old shield mask, the great fire mask. As much as it pains me to part with it, now that I have all of those eggs to take care of, I think it will be of more use to you than me. Be careful with it though. It burns anything that hits it. And it also makes for a great improvised barbecue grill, but you didn't hear that from me. See, I was waiting for something that could let me do uh, ranged attacks. <gasps> Obtain the Mask of Fire from Draco Peak. Calcifera Mask. Powerful shield mask that burns any enemy foolish enough to attack its wielder. Let's see. Ranged attacks, though. Yeah. Well, I guess it's kind of pointless then. Well, I mean, not pointless, but it's not what I needed it for. Draco peaks between dream and reality. This place seems to be a resting place for dragons. Are you sleeping? You feel an immense power and lightness in this place. The music in this place has probably been my favorite so far. Mm, I never noticed they were there. Or is that a new... New to... tie setup? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean correctly? Is there other ways to spell that other than boy? Yeah, there, there are uh, a lot of, well, maybe not a lot of different ways, but there are, um, 
I can think of at least two other ways uh, to spell the name. Oh, damn. I, but you see, if I had just stopped to think for a bit, I could have... I could have guessed what you tried to say. But I'm just so slow today. <laughs> Um, but it, no, it was it was actually behind me uh, before as well. This rotation is perfect. Okay, I just want to see if you had anything new. Anything new to say? Let's go back then. Game looks really pretty. Yeah, it is. It is pretty cute and pretty. I like it. I like it. Okay. Let us go back. I must. No, don't think there is anything else. What a ride! That was more tumultuous than usual. Tell me if you want to head back down to the village. Don't worry, I'm not going to just leave you here. Well, thank you. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hey, not fine. How you doing? Like Sean? Yeah, or... Uh... Or a W instead of the U as well is also a way. It's okay, you're also bad at typing, plus you think your keyboard almost out of battery. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, I'm just slow. I'm just slow. It's not it's not you. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> what is this game? Uh it is a It is a tree tr treaty, by the way. I, I I saw trees and I was like, treaty. <laughs> It is a 3D platformer, um, Souls-like. A very cute one. I need to find the last pig. But it's also very Zelda-like. <gasps> there you are! I didn't think to go behind here. Does that mean we get to go in your house? Yeah. We have them all. Hello. You've done it. I haven't locked my door. Inside you'll find a reward waiting for you. Called it. Called it. <laughs> um, 3D platformer. Exactly. It's 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 a whole new genre. I just I just made it up. You tired, buddy? Here, five days countdown until the concert you're going to. So you're trying to pass time squid. Wait, what? What is the concert? What is the concert? I feel the tiredness though. <laughs> I feel you. You there. It feels like traditional Zelda. Mm. It is very Zelda-like. Indeed. Um, you've also gotten Spyro vibes, but only like specific very... Yeah. You gonna download the demo? Do it, do it. Yeah, it's on sale right now as well. I think it's 10% off, but it, it came out yesterday, I think. I think this game was released yesterday. If not, it was two days ago. You're going to Blink-182? <gasps> oh, damn. That sounds fun. <gasps> oh, is that where they go? The little dudes. 
Here we are, the Dark Forest. Time to track down Galto. This place marks the next step on our journey. Things are bound to get more dangerous from here on out. Let's stay sharp, alright? Let's go, Waco. Waco. Hello! So I found two of these guys. Hey, green friend! The dance is dim, the night is quiet. My Onibi pals, they've all vanished. Bring back the light and we will riot. And your reward will shine untarnished. Nice. I do like a nice reward. This lock is blue and seems unbreakable. It's locked, but a blue key should open it. It's probably what we get from, from uh, finishing this quest. Dark forest, beware, fellow traveler. Where you stand now was once a thriving part of Hoshi village, lush and lively. Alas, a villager's betrayal has woven a curse throughout these woods. How similar you would say little dudes are for the tiny men. Um, I mean, they're not the same at all, <laughs> because the, the, the little dudes are cute. The tiny men are not cute. I'm just gonna burn you to death. Until I ran out of stamina, at least. I can't burn this away. <laughs> mm, you say Treaty reminded you of when you used to say three like that. It became an inside joke with one of your best friends to the point that you will purposely say tree instead of three when you talk to her. I think that's very common for a lot of people who don't have English as a first language because, uh, well, at least here, the the th or thr sound is probably the most difficult sound to make uh when speaking english when it's not something you usually use in your own language so a lot of norwegians also don't really know how to say it properly i also struggle with this sometimes <laughs> Um, I mean, when I said tree now, that wasn't, that wasn't one of them, because it was just, I just, it was a, an IRL typo. <laughs> Galto's Pachinko Palace. Here dwells the sumptuous and magnificent Galto. Seek an audience only if you bear a primordial mask or treasures worthy of his attention. I do have a mask. I do have a primordial mask. I do love the uh, Asian vibes here, though. Danger, abandoned forest. Burning random things. Cannot use this. Oh yeah, though. <laughs> Love the term IRL typo. Are you gonna use it forever now? Oh, I thought this would be like a room. I like call, calling it IRL type. <laughs> it just, it just, it just works, you know. 
I didn't mean to continue on though. I just thought that this would be like a smaller room. Poison water. Well, I will try to not get into the poison water. What else would it be? I mean, it's not really something that people say. Like that that is not the correct term that people would use because it's not <laughs> Um I guess people just say misspoke. I don't know. I don't I don't know what people say. I know what I say, but I don't know what other people say. Oh yeah, they... Wait, no, these are different ones. No, are they the same ones? Wait, that's not what I meant. Dude, it's so weird to have the... Um, the shield and the attack button on the same... side of the controller. such a specific thing yeah but that doesn't mean that it's it's uh like it's not an actual term it's just a term that i'm made up Let's go up here because we do have what this guy needs. Oh damn. Uh beer being a bit you're gonna restart your PC. Oh. Oh, come on, come on. <gasps> ah, come on, come on. Is this like uh inspired by mm -hmm. Spirited Away? Time whispers, portal sing. Hmm. Does it let you remap? I don't know. I haven't really checked. Time whispers. Oh, you you say the same thing. Questions in portals. Answers lost in time. I like how they just say "ika buka <laughs> Whatever that is. Beware eager steps, time tricks. See, I didn't even need to use any heals because I could just smash these barrels, you know? Misspoke doesn't really fit it, in your opinion. How would you spell uh, Orion in Norwegian? Like, say, in, um, Orion is what we would say in Norwegian. <laughs> Welcome to my pachinko, little stranger. Oh, Galto, he's the one we came here for. I'm Galto, the master of this dark and delightful forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This place is a refuge, a sanctuary for those who have been rejected, for souls searching for a place to fit in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I built this haven for the outcasts, for those misunderstood and neglected by the world. Yeah, yeah. I sense that you're a unique person who doesn't fit into any box, though it seems we wear our masks for different purposes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ah, but I digress. I can sense something intriguing about you. Huh? You carry I, a, a, a primordial mask, don't you? Yeah. Yet you seem unaffected by its power, which is quite remarkable. It's because I'm Sam. Or Frodo. 
I don't know. It gives me an idea. You see, in this world, masks and emotions are tightly bound together. The creation of masks and their tie to emotions began when the allegory of envy transformed the other allegories into primordial masks. Then envy itself became a mask, lost to us for untold years. And now you manage to obtain the mask of wrath without falling under its spell. You might be the one able to collect all the primordial masks. They hold immense power and secrets, one of which are the ancient portals behind our village. Keep these masks safe, for when you've gathered the right ones, the portals will surely react to it. Who knows, you might just uncover what lies beyond them. One more thing. You can talk to my Tenebrands, Tenebrands to get stronger. In exchange for some souls, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, look at, look at, <laughs> look at these masks, these faces. It's so cute. Uh... Hey, Thunders! This looks cute as fuck. It is really cute. It is cute. How you doing? Some words are linked very heavily and stuff. You don't know if it's because English is not first language or something as well. Hmm. Like primordial or primeval is like linked in your head in man is from um, Dark Souls and like. What is that other word? Oh, tarnished. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I was like, I wasn't sure if that was what you meant, but I... Hey there, little lizard. Oh, Souls are wondrous things, you know. You can say that they're a ghostly hobby of mine. I can make you tougher for an amount of souls of um, 100. What do you say? Agree, sure. Marvelous. <gasps> I got more health. Enjoy your newfound powers, little lizard. So you're calling me a little lizard? You're the first one who has called me anything but little green one. Or little green? <laughs> okay, so they their colors indicate what they do. So this one gives more stamina, I suppose, because he's wearing a green outfit. Are you enjoying your stay in the village? I can enhance your endurance for an amount of souls of uh, 100. Give. More. 200? Damn. Oh, couple, couple. You only give me 10? Watch it be 300 now. I knew it. Well, I feel like I need more stamina than health. But next time, I'm gonna ask for more health. Health. Uh, are turtles lizards? No. No, they're not. Mm, but they are reptiles. Well, yeah, they're both reptiles. Green is clean and go. It's true, it's true. Green means clean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's a grower. <laughs> PC was acting up. We, we don't want a PC acting up. Richest Grand Deco Shop. Welcome. Ah, you're here to browse? Well, let me tell you, it's a strange situa situation. 
Uh, these Tenebrands, they've got more money than sense. They buy up everything I stock, no matter what it is. And talking to them? It's like they speak in riddles, always mumbling about portals and mysteries. I can't get a sentence out of them. But hey, as long as they keep buying, I'm not complaining. Just means there's not much left for anyone else. I mean, I see that he's out all out of everything, but I'm gonna see. Sold out. Ah, your, your eyes playing tricks on you? I think that that item is out of stock. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna, uh, you know, I'm gonna see if he says the same thing about all of them. Well, it was worth a shot, okay? It didn't quite sound right, but it wasn't sure why. Wait, what, 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 what are you talking about? Turtles are, oh yeah, yeah, turtles and, yeah, turtles are reptiles because they have four legs, a cold-blooded metabolism, and scales covering their bodies. Amphibians, on the other hand, have a smooth, scaleless, water permeable coating. Turtles are shielded by an impenetrable shell. Mm. Yeah. So, frogs and such are amphibians. Time whispers, portal sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pulsating piece of object lying on the table. It's missing a part that completes it. Nothing happened. You don't have the right item in your inventory. Gosh dang it. Hmm. I've not been in here. That makes sense. The show called Amphibina. Am Amphibina. I mean, yeah, I've not seen it yet, but maybe one day. But you know, a couple of things. Hmm. I've never heard of that. Crow. <gasps> it's Dad Man. It's Dando Man. Welcome to my cabinet of curiosities. Collecting strange objects is my passion. I've gathered interesting items from all around the world for years now. There are many valuable artifacts here, so please do not touch anything. Ah, speaking of artifacts, I have this wooden pipe that my brother in Dodo Village needs. The village is just across that bridge. He runs a mask museum there. You can't miss it. I take the pipe to him myself, but I can't cross that bridge alone. Would you be kind enough to deliver it for me? Sure. Wooden smoking pipe. A wooden pipe with a symbol engraved on it. You don't smoke, so only a collector would be interested in this object. Thank you. I also have another dead man on, on my desk. I didn't... Sh I haven't shown you guys this. I've had it for a long time. But it's like... It's like a little candle holder. Do you... <laughs> it's so... He's wearing a suit and everything, and a, a cane. Is, isn't isn't dad man dapper? It's a, it's a dapper dad man. But yeah, you're supposed to have like a, a tea candle here. Or, you know, whatever you want. But it's, it's mainly supposed to be for candles. But yeah, isn't he cute? I've had this for years, but I, I, I've had it in a different place. But I have it on my desk now. <laughs> he has a cane. Long. <laughs> he is a long man. Wish he dressed up like that for you. <laughs> you, hear, you hear what you have to do now, Chris? The vase shifts its gaze to you. Well, that's creepy. <gasps> Look at these little dudes. With the, the little tooths. Little tooths. 
What's a tea candle? Well, you know little candles? I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> you know the little ones? A little stubby candle in a metal holder thingy? Yeah. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> that's that's a... I can't think of a better way to explain it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm I want to leave, but I want to see. If I go into a different area now. <gasps> oh, it's a it has portals. Time weaves portal stitch. Do you want to activate this portal? Sure. Nothing happened. Okay, so it's not the right mask. Look at this, Waco. It seems we can't activate the system that opens the portals. We need to find the other primordial masks to unlock it. Let's keep searching. Okay. I thought maybe we could open at least one of them. <laughs> Chris, can you can <laughs> The busty is almost as old as I am. <laughs> you look so silly in a suit you're not long enough. What do you mean? You don't have to be you don't have to be tall to to be in a suit. But how does it differ from a candle and like a metal holder thing? Well, it's just to to, to differentiate between the different types, because you know you, just saying candle is too general, you know? Stubby just means short. Short and flat, yeah. When is a candle short? What is that long candle then? Uh, if you mean the thin long ones, we call that... I mean, we have different words for it in Norwegian, but I don't know how much they differentiate between them in English. So in Norwegian we would say... Tea candle is just called telus, which is the same thing. Translates to the same thing. And then you have uh, the long, thin ones uh, that are called uh, kornelus, which is crown lights or crown candles. I don't know, that that that's probably not... Uh, I, don't, I don't know why, but then you have the... Um, The other ones, we call them kubelis, which translates to log candles, which is like the uh, the cylinders that are like thicker. Wikipedia says a tea light is a candle in a thin metal or plastic cup so that the candles can liquefy completely while lit. They are typically small, circular, usually wider than their height, and inexpensive. Mm. You can, so you can drink the candle goo easier. <laughs> you think you know by the liquid completely when or they, what they mean now? Mm. Why is it called tea candle? I have no idea. There's probably some explanation somewhere. Like, it, or the origin of the word somewhere. You forgot they completely- yeah, they do, they do. That is true. Mm, apparently tea lights derive their name from their use in teapot warmers, but are also used as food warmers in general. Yeah, 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 that, that makes sense. We used to have one of those that you could have a tea candle under so that you could keep a, a pot warm longer like if you had uh, sauce or soup or something like that mm, how difficult you say learning Norwegian is well I mean I've <laughs> you you can't ask someone who grew up learning like that as a first language because I can't. for me it was very simple very easy because it was <laughs> I think it's better to ask someone who actually has learned Norwegian as a second language because you can always say that 
it's gonna be easy for anyone who who has it as a first language, no matter what it is. Because I can't really say for sure. Um, it has a lot of the same sentence structure as English, though. But it's time for bed for you. Hope you enjoy the rest of your stream. Bloody legend. Good night, everyone in chat, too. Have a good night, Chris and Lauren. Hope you guys have a good sleep. Um, and also, thank you both for, for the resub. I appreciate you both. I appreciate you both. Thank you so much. Um, This was a deep dive you did not think would go on today. <laughs> Uh, but it's fun though. It's fun when that happens. You learn new things. We all learn new things. You'll be lurking because you gotta force yourself to study today. Do whatever you need to do, Thundus. I believe in you. Do all the studying. Do all the reading. All the things. And treat yourself as well. You know? It's it's easier to study if you have some, some sugar as well. Just saying. <laughs> Well, I mean, you probably know, but it's just, you know, it boosts your brain a little bit. Um, that's so cool. Do you think learning Swedish is similar than learning Norwegian? It is similar, probably, yeah, because the we have a few different letters. But the, the words are, a lot of them are very similar, though. So it's like if you know one I mean you you know that by by hearing what I say sometimes and and then you use the Swedish words because they you can tell that they're from context that they mean the same thing even if they're slightly different I think it would probably be similar learning Swedish or Norwegian as someone who doesn't speak either of them. But I, I don't know, like, the grammar rules of Swedish, so I can't say. Um, studying is not always so fun. Exactly, that's why you need to treat yourself. <laughs> you need to treat yourself. So you can... You can So it's easier. Let's see if we can activate this one. I highly doubt it though. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I see now. I didn't I didn't pay attention to the masks at the top. <laughs> I didn't I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Oh well, oh well. Let's come back here. Well, like the sentence structures and the officials, uh, I, I would say it's probably very similar. But don't don't take my word for it. But it just it seems similar. Taking your word for it. No, don't do that. Okay, let's see if there's something we can... Well, it did say that the water was poisonous, but...
Burn. Wait. I don't know why I didn't do the fire thing. now how do you open the 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 the, the oh hello uh you saw learning norwegian and uh surprised with fluing fluid wordings do it i dare you <laughs> i'll be proud if you did but how do we open yeah. this? What do you want? What do you mean? What do you need? What do you do? What do you what do you what do you, what, do, what do you need? I thought we just needed to kill the the other things. Uh definitely won't mix it uh, with Swedish. Mm. Kind of want to relearn, or you don't know the word, like fresh your memory of it, but you don't really use it anywhere. Speak to Palm. This looks neat. That is pretty neat. I don't know how I'm supposed to open that. Yeah. I don't know. We know about the poison and water. I don't know if there is anything else on the way up here because I think... No. We just have to go through the door here. Palm is here. Palm is here. It's true. It's true. Those are some... Uh, the, the whole game is very Zelda-ish. <laughs> it is indeed. Oh damn, that did half damage to it. Um, but is there like, do you learn book in school only or does it have big uses? Wait, wh what do you mean? Pokemon is what we learn. Like that is the what most of us learn. I guess it depends on the region as well. But that's the most common one. Is your buddy, uh, uh, they called him a lizard. What? Wrong. <laughs> uh, welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
much for the raid. I was actually just thinking about, you know, maybe I should I should end stream, but now like no, well, let's let's keep going a little bit longer then. Now that you raided because <laughs> Welcome in raid. How was your stream? How was I saw that you were playing um, Skyrim now How 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 did that go? <laughs> Welcome in rods everyone. Thank you so much for the raid um, Yeah, so we're currently playing a, a new game here, um, but also for those of you who are new here my name is Vepikos. I'm a Norwegian streamer. We're doing we're doing uh, some some things today. I've also changed my setup, so I I moved around a little bit. I used to have my desk behind me, so I just I just moved a little bit. I just moved a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> hey Ark, how you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, never end. Oh, never end. Damn. I guess I guess now seeing seeing as Ron said that I can't end, I, I guess I can't. Um <laughs> Um yeah, go follow Rods if you haven't already. Do it, do it, do it. I tried to mod it, it started and didn't crash. <gasps> That's amazing, especially because it's bug bug thesta. That was a win to be honest. Hmm. That is that is a flex, honestly. Um, but how am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm a little bit tired, but I'm doing good. I'm doing good. New setup of fancy, yeah. It's fancy. Can't butt up the butt opportunity for some. <laughs> but doing okay. Hey, doing okay. It's pretty okay. 400 plus mods? Why, why do you have so many mods installed? That's insane. Do you need to get going though? Because you're one hour late already? Wait, one hour late for what? Food? Dinner? But yeah, we do- we, we, We're currently playing a new game. I got a, a free Steam code for this game that came out yesterday. It's a, a 3D platformer. Uh, Souls-like. It's very cute. And it's also very Zelda-ish. Um, but it's, it's cute. It's cute. I like it. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. So that's what we're doing today. Because um, Vanilla Skyrim so But 400 mods is insane, though. Why do you need so many? <laughs> Why do you need so many? Um, the dinner. The family awaits. Mm. Hope you have a great stream. Thank you so much, Rods, and thank you so much for the raid as well. I hope you have a good rest of your day and dinner and all the things. And yes, go go follow Rods. Go do it right now. If you haven't, why haven't you? It does not your fight? Mm. I mean, I have only ever played Skyrim unmodded, so I- Oh shit, we, we're gonna die here. Or maybe not. Wait. Okay, that doesn't work. Guess we're gonna need a thick coat in here. Um, I've ne I've only ever played it vanilla, so I. I don't know. I was very anti mods when it came to uh, Skyrim because it's just, hey, if a game requires mods to be good, then it's not a good game. Yeah. I mean, I understand if people are very fond of the game and wants to freshen it up a little bit. That's different. But if it's the only way to enjoy a game, then the game can't really be that good. But I I enjoyed it once. But uh, like I'm I'm okay with not yeah. replaying it. So I I don't feel like using mods to to play it again and again because I have so many other games to play. Anti-mods. 
Uh, you think Skyrim has decent gameplay and changing mods and stuff, but a lot of visual mods go down a terrible path. Hmm. Danger for your own good. Strictly no skinny dipping here. <laughs> yeah, no, no skinny dipping here, guys. You, 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 you've been warned. I do want to get over there, but I don't know if it's a smart idea. No, probably not. I mean, I understand the, the want to use mods, but if it's the only way to enjoy a game, then I don't know if it's actually a good game. Dude, Jesus Christ. PC. I was not expecting that. Casual dipping a lot. Yeah, that was also a. Uh, that was an actual Zelda game. <laughs> you should get, I guess, some storyline mods that add full quests if you think. Wait, what do you mean, Orion? Looked like a great spot for skinny dipping, yeah. Oracle. Ah, savior. Thank you, you arrived just in time. But I, I find myself in need of further assistance. You see, my dear Gorifiki has scampered into the temple over there. Oh, that playful monkey gets himself into so much trouble sometimes. He may be mischievous, but it is kind and gentle at heart. Although I chase after him, these robes aren't exactly trap friendly. Just watch out for the, his antics. It's his unique way of greeting. I'm sure you'll find his charm irresistible once you meet him. Now allow me to open the door to the, the temple. Yes, I have a lot of power. I'm an oracle after all. I truly miss him, and once you meet him, I'm sure you'll fall in love with him too. Uh, if you say so. Almost fucking stream there. It's flying. Wait, what? There's a flying thing. Wait, what? What is what? What was flying? Ryan, don't die. want to know if I, I've done everything I can right here except floating over there wait hold on what about the room in there I feel like I won't have enough momentum to do that I don't think I can do that. Uh, yeah, we're getting an ad in, in like a half a minute or something. This place is creepy, Waco. It's quiet. Should be careful and keep an eye out for Gorifiki. And I bet we'll run into some enemies too, so be ready to fight. Let's go Waco. Hmm. Okay, let's use this first. So we have enough uh, health and stuff. Okay, 
so this is a teleport that has not been activated yet. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! I was trying something. I was trying to see if there was a way for me to... I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. So we're apparently supposed to go through this door. Damn it. Wait, where will that one, tel uh, one teleport us then? Yeah. To the, the starting point? Maybe. Wait, I... Oh. No, it was not. <laughs> it was not the starting point. See what it actually does. It doesn't seem to stop. Does it only stop when I hit the next one? Jumping is very, um, very floaty, so it's like, it's almost zero gravity, so it's, it's not very precise. Dude, can you stop? Jesus Christ. It didn't, it didn't want to, it didn't want to... Is that it, the actual first time that I've died? <laughs> hmm, but he does save from last time though. But yeah, like, I stood here for a long time just looking to see how much time I had, but it just didn't stop at all. 
So I, I don't understand how long you have. Because they're all supposed to be activated at the same time. So me activating the next one? Okay, now it uh, stops. Okay. That is not a long time. Smilerang, this cursed boomerang likes mask is adorned. This cursed boomerang like mask is adorned with a smiling face. It should come in handy, in very handy for striking things from afar. Okay, I was waiting for uh, something like that. You can use the boomerang mask by pressing LT. This active mask allows Waco to activate mechanisms from a distance. You might need to uh, to camera lock onto whatever you want to hit. Okay. I did it. I did do it. I did do it. Is, uh, it's, it's a bit wonky, though. Nice. I can hit both of them. Ready to I didn't know that would happen. God damn it. I hope there wasn't anything else to collect there or something because I was not ready. I wanted to explore. Okay, so I'm supposed to go down here. How do I get back up, though? Oh. I see. <laughs> I see. Oh, yeah. I, I don't have the... the glider when I have the boomerang. I can only have one at a time. So I need to... I need to switch it out when I need it. Even it has Zelda-like sound when you solve a puzzle that made you shiver. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does have a lot of similarities for sure. For sure. Let me just see if I can use the boomerang. Like... Okay, no. Ow. Hmm. 
Well, I guess I just have to lose health doing that. Press the wrong button. God damn it. That was really annoying. Oh well. It's fine. Wait a minute. I was wondering if I could lock onto the lantern, see if that was something that I needed to do. But I can't. I can't! Yeah. I can't seem to avoid that. <laughs> yeah. But okay, we gotten everything there. But I'm supposed to be able to make that one drop as well. Somehow. There's nothing to lock onto though. forgot about this. <laughs> I forgot about that because I couldn't do, do that before. Let me just uh, heal here first so I have everything. That was a preemptive owl, by the way. those for me. I do like that the game does that. <laughs> but the enemies can hit other enemies for me. Preemptive owls are a universal experience. It, it joins us as a human. <laughs> Wait, what? Are, what are you doing? Why? Why didn't you want to attack? Controls aren't the, the smoothest, though, I have to say. It 
It's a little bit too floaty for me. Puppies. <laughs> I think it also happens when you, um... When you use the word as well. Otherwise, it wouldn't have happened twice in a row. I don't think. Or maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I just thought it was weird that it happened twice in a row. <laughs> so I thought, there, there, there must be a reason, you know? the best thing ever <laughs> made you happy. <laughs> That's good. That is good. That is good. Yeah, I added pop time earlier this week. Uh, I've been meaning to do it for a while, but I... I guess I've just forgotten. And also, Ryan gifted a three-month sub to pop, pop time. Dude, I'm I'm locking on. Wait, it actually worked. Dude, the fall damage in this game is kind of stupid. It's like, th this small jump should not give me fall damage. It should not give me fall damage. Wait, can I use, um... Um, you thought he was a human until it happened a second time? It worked. And can you not roll when you fall? I don't... I haven't really tried, if I'm being honest. What a surprise to see you in this temple of the dark forest. This place holds secrets from the Allegory War. It was once the refuge of the gluttony of Allegory, a creature of insatiable appetite. Legends say it gorged so much that it spewed poison. Quite unpleasant, isn't it? But fear not, for I am here to aid you. As usual, I will give you an extra charge for your potion. potion. Nice. May this additional use serve you well in unraveling the puzzles that lie ahead. Thank you. It was a moth and you're still shaking a bit. You had to go wake June up and you feel so bad. <gasps> I'm sorry, Ryan. I was really tight timing, yeah. <laughs> I really scared you. There are a lot of moths at this this hour. Okay, let's see. It 
It's not like they're terrifying, but you really thought it was something else bug-like at first. Mm. Oh! I guess it just automatically hit the other one as well when they were that close. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. <gasps> There's a little dude in here! Uh, hold on, I need to do that first. not paying attention at all. <laughs> I was trying to read chat at the same time. Well, that's rude. Staggered too, so it's like I can just keep doing this without them reaching me. <laughs> oh, I hate when they do that. I don't even care if you hit me. takes longer. Okay, this will make me drop down. I missed stuff on the other one before. Because I just did it right away. <gasps> we got a blue key! Wait, I forgot to read. God damn it. Oh, okay, so this was the room we, we- I thought that I missed it before. Okay, so I- okay, that's good to know that I actually didn't miss anything. Because I would have had to go, uh, go here anyway. I can't even drink your water now even though you don't think it went in there? No, I probably didn't. You don't want to get up to get more, like, new water, just in case. Hmm. Okay, so we have the last one left. We got a blue key. So I'm guessing that that will help us progress. Yeah, because we can use a heal. This lock is blue and seems unbreakable. Use a key. Do it. <gasps> it's a door! Wait. 
should not have done that. Also not what I meant. <laughs> nope, stop it. I know that this probably shouldn't be an issue, but... Wait, are they all, like, facing up now? <laughs> Probably. Wait, is there a way to just... That's what I was hoping for, but... Can you stop moving the camera? Game? Wait. 
Hold on. Stop moving the camera. It's just by making it even worse, I, I just feel like it's going to help me make it better. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. Well, we're back to square one now. And yes, that was... When I thought of it, it wasn't meant as a pun, but it became a pun. know if there is an app specifically for learning Norwegian for free asking for well <laughs> I mean isn't Duolingo free I, I actually don't I, I don't use any language learning apps so I don't I don't know <gasps> we got it it took way too long <laughs> it took way too long is this like a reset button? I didn't even think about it. I thought that I would just needed to... I can, I can be... semi big brain sometimes. Oh, you got new moves. on time you next time the, that sort of puzzle appears yeah I Go. dude I forgot to look around again if I could have freed this dude and I missed it oh it doesn't seem like it could What if I could? Then. Hold on. I need to know. I need to know. You didn't even like coffee and you're probably lactose intolerant. Mm. <laughs> coffee. Oh, thank you. Or coffee and milk. I mean, not coffee or tea. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so it's there, but I don't know if there's a way to get over there. Probably not. Hold on. Wait, I need to come in from the other side here? Okay. Well, I mean, I can go up there. Hold on, I'm gonna do that. I didn't know that. 
that was possible. That's from Duolingo. Do you have like different... This is some grammar thing, but with verbs, like different ways specific to... Con I don't even know how to answer that question because... <laughs> the thing is, I don't know grammar rules at all. Not in Norwegian, not in English. I just know if that makes sense. I just know what is correct and what isn't, but I don't know the actual rules. Yes. So I don't even know how to explain it. So I missed this one before. Only 20? I have always, always known, but I, I've never been able to like explain how grammar works. I think it's because I've been like I read so much growing up that I just instantly picked up how things were meant to be written. We can all learn Norwegian together in <laughs> learning streams. Oh shit. That was creepy. You feel a monstrous presence behind this door. Do you want to enter? Hold on. I, well, can I... Is there a saving point here? Because I... Kind of need to do that before I fight a boss. No, I guess I'm just thrown into the boss room. <laughs> I'm, I'm not at full health or anything. Oh. It's, it's a monkey, dude. I don't even have the- oh shit. I even have the wrong- I'm not prepared at all because I don't even have the- Dude, yeah, I was not paying attention at all because I needed to switch out my, um... Whatever it's called. Yeah, I needed to switch out so I could have the boomerang. <laughs> That sound felt loud, even though it wasn't. It was loud. It was loud for me too. Yeah. It, it wasn't. It wasn't just your imagination. It, it was. It was loud. Yeah. That attempt doesn't count, okay? Because I didn't even try. I just. I didn't know I would just jump right into a boss fight there. I mean, I should have known. Oh. Yeah. I've seen this before. Oh! Wait, but I can't- I can't target it. Ow. Dude, why can I not lock on? I 
I am so confused. I can't lock on. Now I can. Why is, does he have jiggle physics on his butt? <laughs> Okay, so now it works. It didn't before. See, the first one didn't count. <laughs> Upon discovering the boomerang mask, a valuable asset for his quest, Weko ventured further inside an ancient dungeon. Weko cleverly solved each and every puzzle in this mysterious place and dispatched the enemies within gracefully. He eventually encountered Gorifiki, the distressed monkey in the depths of the dungeon, and engaged in a brave confrontation with it. It's not Rafiki, as in the Lion King. After a fierce battle, Weko relieved Gorifiki from the primordial mask of gluttony. We have a Wrath and we have Gluttony now. Thank you for the GGs. Ah, Traveler. You've managed to subdue him. It pains me to see Gorifiki, uh, Gorifiki like this, but it's for the best. His buttocks are a bit fragile, so I hope you didn't hurt him too badly. <laughs> He's a, I hope you didn't smack his ass hard, uh, too hard. The mask he wore. It's not meant for simple souls like him. You can keep it. I can keep it. Wow, Waco, you found a second primordial, primordial mask. That makes two now. With each mask we find, we're getting closer to solving the mysteries. Keep this one safe in your bag with the first. I'm sure that weird frog at Galto, Gal Galto would be quite impressed with our progress. Let's continue the adventure together and look for the other primordial masks. Let's go, Waco. Primordial Gluttony Mask, a powerful and ancient mask emanating a deep sense of boundless hunger. Your goal is to one day be faster than the Seri bot. <laughs> Thank you once more. Please take care with that mask traveler. And give Gorifiki a gentle pat if you pass oh, by uh, his cage. Uh, <gasps> <laughs> Hello again. Hello again, Marty. I can give him a pat? But you said to give him a pat if I walked by his his cage. Oh. 
That was not a gentle pat. <laughs> I, I wanted to give you a pat, it just give, didn't give me the option to. It does... What? I'm so confused. How's it going? Seems like you like the game. I am liking the game, yeah. It's going pretty well. We just bought, uh, we just fought the second boss. Why can I not interact though when it says that I can? I don't understand. Is this a bug, or am I just not supposed to be able to? I don't know. Yeah. But we did it. We did it. I defeated the butt. I did. I did indeed. You would take that butt into the hospital to check it out. Check out if it goes like that. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, what was the quote that I said? Or what was the what was the quote you made? <laughs> Why does he have jiggle physics? Oh yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I see. I see. It's a valid question. Like, it stuck out so much. Yeah, but it was supposed to be a monkey. Or, like, I guess... Um... A baboon? They do tend to, to have very red and, and... Prominent butts, I guess. <laughs> You want to pat the butt? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I wish I had an extra key for this, though. Wait! Oh, I can still use the key? <gasps> I didn't know. It, I didn't know that I could that could do that. So you can use the same key over and over again. It's good to know. That is good to know. Yeah. Shit. I don't have the thing. And I can't switch. Shit. I can't switch. Well, I, I tried, but it won't let me. <laughs> I feel like this shouldn't be a skill that you- Wait, 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 There's a chest over there. It's mine. What the fuck? Let me do that again. You thought patting the bud would make the monkey feel better? <laughs> I mean, that could very well be. I really want that one as well. And let's be real. It, it's not like it actually did a bunch of damage. But I can't do anything. That's annoying. It doesn't let me do any any type of attacks or anything while in here. Oh, 
that scared me that the thing following me just. <laughs> <laughs> Danger. Old frozen cave. Yeah, we tried going in there earlier. We're not, we're not gonna do that again. Okay, I'm gonna save here. And then I'm gonna wrap up because... Now I've been live for an hour longer than I intended. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Mm. I don't remember how many I needed in total, but it's fine. But it's been good though. It's been it's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying this. And it doesn't seem like a, a very long game either. So probably I don't know. Two more streams, maybe one long one, I don't know. And then it would be enough to, to finish it. I don't know if you guys want me to, to play it on stream, though. The rest. But I could do that. I could do that. It has been really fun. I'm glad. I'm glad. Vino bread. <laughs> At the same time, wine and bread. Is this a communion? Is this a communion? Um, but yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed this game. I'm also thinking maybe streaming tomorrow as well, seeing as I haven't streamed all week. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm considering streaming tomorrow as well. Probably around the, s maybe at my usual time. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't decided. Don't have time to get dirty now. <laughs> but yeah, I usually don't stream on Sundays, but the time, I mean, of, of day could be the, the same as my usual stream time. Double web stream? You're blessed. Well, I mean, I haven't streamed in a whole week. Um, I haven't streamed since last Saturday. Um, and it's been because I've. Like, I've had a, a good reason, but I still feel kind of bad because I've been wanting to. Like, this is my first stream this whole week. <laughs> um, with an asterisk. English stream was good to see you back. Thank you. Thank you for being here. The candles didn't shrink at all. What is that magic? Uh, it's called batteries. <laughs> It's called batteries. The 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 the, the run on batteries. Um, migraines, yeah, and migraines to uh, up until Thursday. Well, I mean, it went away, but it came back every single day. So it wasn't like continuously from Monday to Thursday. But it was bad enough. You go get some fresh bombs soon. <laughs> Yeah, magic batteries. Yeah, yeah. It's very cool. It's very cool. Batteries sounds like witchcraft. It is. It's because it is. It's because it is. But it's been fun though. I I, I kind of want to continue playing tomorrow or yeah, and then. Uh, next week we will continue with our regular schedule, I think. So that on Tuesday we're gonna be playing more in space and time because I haven't streamed that in two weeks. And it's supposed to be my Tuesday game. And then we're gonna play more 
Well, I mean, I kind of also want to finish this game now that I've started it because it's so much shorter than the other games, but... I will figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's... It's... Yeah. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> um... You're looking for a black hole Stardew Valley-like game to dive in, uh, but you cannot find any? Hmm... I'm not really good with um, farming sims and stuff, but there's so many that I'm sure that there are some good ones out there that is what you're looking for. I'm just I'm just not the right person to ask because the only one that I really played is Stardew Valley that I really enjoyed. You can figure it out, yeah. I've kind of liked the idea of, of not having a schedule though. Even though like this time it was because I was I wasn't feeling good, but I did also say last stream that this coming week, as in this week, I wouldn't I decided to not have a schedule and just stream whenever I wanted to. It didn't go exactly as planned, but <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll go with that this coming week as well. Just, just whenever, but we'll see, we'll see. All roads lead to Bulge Gate 3. It does, but not yet. Um, well, oh yeah, you mean uh, for Marty, yeah. You tried Graveyard Keeper, but honestly it's too complicated. Coral Island is too Disney-like. Hmm, I see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I mean, you do have Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> that is true. That is true. What else do you need? You played enough of Baldur's Gate 3, but you're looking for something you like and dive in um, that much. Have you played Hollow Knight? I mean, maybe that is too combat heavy. I don't know. But it's cute though, and it takes a while. You tried Hades and like it, yeah, but that is also very combat based. Um, but if you like exploration, I would recommend Hollow Knight. But you, uh, there's also um, what other game was it that I was thinking of? I'm not sure. Let's let's have a look. Have you pl have you played The Witcher Three, by the way? As long as you feel good and ha are having fun, the schedule is secondary. Yeah. I just I still haven't taken that week of, of uh, wait uh, a week of vacation off stream that I was planning on having after I finished my first playthrough of Baldur's Gate Three. <laughs> um. Combat from time to time is fine, but when the game is just combat, you find it boring. No, 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 that is totally fine. I'm also not a... I'm also... I also like more variety. But Hollow Knight is a good game, uh, because it's a lot of exploration. Um, but you also have... What else was it that I was thinking of? The Ori games are also good. Also, if you love... Well... If you don't mind turn-based combat, that is also... But it's, it's not as much combat. It's more story. And has kind of like pixel graphics um, as well, but... I would definitely recommend Amori, because that is one of my favorite games. I would recommend that as well. Never played The Witcher 3. Apparently it's good, but you're scared it would be too old looking. It's not. It's from 2015. What? Old looking? If The Witcher 3 is too old looking, then you are very picky. <laughs> it's not, it's not old looking. It is actually a really beautiful game. I mean, if you compare it to 
Baldur's Gate 3, that's a little bit different because it's they've been using uh, a lot of motion capture. Um, like, a lot more. But it's definitely not uh, all looking. You personally don't think it's all looking, but you, it does have combat somewhat lots. Oh, well, yeah, but you can have it on very easy difficulty as well, so it's not like an, an issue. Sulk song. <laughs> you play the first five minutes, cried all your soul out, and never touched it again. Oh, no. To be fair, the, the worst part is the beginning, though. When it comes to emo how emotional it is. People saying The Witcher 3 is too dated, you ancient- No, it's it's not- it's not dated. It's not. And also they did, um... They did do an uh, upgrade of it as well. Was it last year or was it earlier this year? I don't remember. Was that Undertale? Undertale is a... <sighs> it's an amazing game. <laughs> I do... It's hard to explain. You could also try to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. You technically has no combat, but you'll eventually be fighting Konami. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Just want the Stardew Valley genius to release the hunted chocolatier. Yeah, I, I, do we know when that happens? Because I don't know anything about release dates when it comes to these things. Unless it's like soonish. I haven't really been keeping up with it, to be honest. It's in process, but it might take another 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, that's that's a while. <laughs> that that is a while. Um That is a while. Under Chocolatier will come before Silk Song. Don't speak it into existence, Orion. Don't speak it into existence. But we're gonna raid out, I think. We're gonna raid out. I think I want to raid Jose uh, today because I don't really get to raid him as often. Um, he tends to play a lot of retro games, a lot of janky games. He's currently playing Aquaman from the GameCube. Uh, <laughs> but it's just he has a really nice and chill uh, channel that I feel like a lot of people will enjoy the vibes of. You know, he, he has a very, very soothing presence. So let's go go give him a, a little, a little cheeky little raid. A cheeky little raid. It's good people. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Pop time. We do have pop time. Yeah. We do have that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being here, though. God damn it, Orion does it always at the same time as me. <laughs> sorry, Orion. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you so much, though. If you if you are subbed, you can copy the first read message. If you're not subbed, you can copy the second one. And thank you for the bits, Orion. <laughs> Just wait until you make the raid command that shows up, so it's not too soon. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed the new game that we're playing right now. I think we're going to continue with that tomorrow as well. And, um... 
Orion Wait. Morphia Chia. X156. Wait. But now you started a hype train, that's do <laughs> do that. Wait, Palm, when did you give a hundred bits? Did I miss that? I'm so sorry. I did not see that. When did that happen? <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> uh, I can't see the raid thing. Because of the hype train, so I don't know how long it is. But thank you so much for being here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Two minutes ago? Oh, it, I didn't I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Shit. Well, bye. <laughs>